Hello, hello, hello. My name is Zeep. You're watching Zeep Nation, and we have a new game here. Brighter Shores. It is clearly in early access. And so far, it looks beautiful. Brighter Shores. Uh, looks like a RuneScape clone. Um, and I am I'm optimistic. I've been hurt before. But it looks pretty good so far. Oh, agreement. Okay, I'm probably fine with all the rules. Okay, sure. I'm probably fine with that. Gotta fix this slightly. Okay, um... Air. Do we have air styles? Alright, I think all the hair's the same then. No, we can change it. Somewhere... Kinda looks like what I got going on today. Hmm. I don't think I like any of these, honestly. Not up enough. This is probably as close as I'm gonna get. Beard. Yes. Oh, that's just face, I see. Sure, that one's fine. Cap. <laughs> Some of these faces, though. Oh, there is beard. That's probably close enough. We don't want to be uh, too realistic, but we won't know who's who. Yeah, I don't think the ants really matter all that much. That's probably about it. Yeah. Really like right about there. And we are named Zeep number one. What? Names without a hashtag suffix are reserved for premium pass players. Okay. Zeep number one sounds just fine to me. Welcome. Welcome to Rider Shores. Click on the things in the room to interact with them. Gotcha. Hello, thing. Ah, you must be the new recruit. Yes, I'm Zeep. I've joined the town guard today, and I was told to report to you. Zeep, eh? Welcome to Hopeport Garrison. Thank you. I'm eager to learn how to be effective guard. Is that so? Well, here's your first lesson. Address your senior officers as ma'am or sir. We'll be given a hard time in training if you forget that. <laughs> ma'am, yes ma'am, understood, ma'am. <laughs> Don't overdo it, no one likes it. A, a toady. So tell me, why do you want to be a town guard? Ooh, uh... I need the money. Well, the pay gets better once you've proven your uh, self-valuable member of the force. Luckily for you, we have some excellent career opportunities since we lost a squad in the mine of Mentuban. Now, head to the courtyard through that door and speak to Corporal Bins to start your training. Uh, cool. Cat. Oh, I can pet the cat. What is my hair doing today? It's all over the place. Okay, you can pet the cat. Good game already. Probably this guy, right? Oh. 
the arrow keys. Icky. Uh, reporting for duty, sir. So Captain De Green is uh, scraping the bottom of the barrel for recruits. Okay, well, head to the quartermaster in this building here and collect your standard issue gear. Then you need to talk to some guard. Need to learn some guards magic. Talk to NJ to the west. He's Hope Port's magic su uh, suppressor. Tell him you need guards access to use magic. Once you've done all that, report back to me. Cool. Uh, you don't know much, do you? There are people with a special talent for neutralizing magic in the immediate area. What's more, they can detect the magical signature of individuals that let that magic through. We're lucky to have them here. Not every town has one. And it's Ilk. Is magic different? Gear, give me gear. Hello, mate. What can I do for you? Um, give me my stuff. Get this storage a standard issue for new recruits. Please look after it. Uh, you should talk to NJ to get your magical access. Cool. Oh, what's this? Wait, no, go back. Open. So this is the bank. Oh. Okay. Do I have an inventory? I would assume I have an inventory. And Jay, there you are. I sense that you wish to talk to me. Uh, I've been told to ask for guards magic access. I sense that you've been told to ask for guards magic access. Uh, very clever. Okay, I'm going to check your magical signature. Is it super awesome? Am I super magical? Or is unusual, does that mean good or bad? Hard to explain. However, this request is fulfilled. You are free to do magic in Hopeport. It's all well and good, but I don't know any magic. We have a guy who teaches some useful spells for new recruits, and I suspect you have a, the adapt aptitude to learn. Look for Sultar Malzak. Uh, he can be a little full of himself, but he knows his stuff. Cool. Who? Probably you. Many readings to you. I'm Sultar Malzak, the imminent magic of the Hopeport Guard. Uh, teach me magic. Again, but first of all, I want to test your aptitude for magic. All right, what do you need me to do? Visit the portal stone in the northwest and reach and finish that. Come back to me when you're, you've done that. You got it. I got to do something. Oh, you're talking about like scrap yards and stuff now? I don't know any of this stuff, dude. This area shows you the progress of the quest, along with a remember, reminder of any instructions slash clues you have received. It is the first place you should check if you are unsure what to be doing next. Oh, backpack items. You have gained a backpack item. This area displays which items you currently have in your backpack. Click on items in your backpack to interact with them. Oh, okay. Open the spells panel by clicking here. You have unlocked 
You have unlocked magic. Do I? It all looks pretty locked to me. As you learn spells, they will be added to your spellbook here. Is that it? Cool. Sword. Equip. Open the weapons panel by clicking here. You can equip up to three weapons, which will appear here. When in combat, only weapons you equip beforehand will be available to use. Once ca combat starts, you can no longer change which weapon you have equipped. Oh. Oh, I like that. Because in RuneScape, we hot swapped. Right? Like, you go into the wilderness for, like, PvP. Like, you have, like, a full, like, armor set of, like, dragonhide armor and, like, a sword. And then you attack. And then the person that's attacking you has, like, all magic stuff. So you quickly, like, hot swap all of your gear. Like, all of your defenses into magic and then you get your magic defense up it's a pain really it was such a pain guard guard portal stone activate new spell learnt portal to hope port okay so not only is this like a tutorial island, but I can, uh, actually come back here. Neat. Oh. I see that just... That brings me right here, huh? No cooldown, though. I do like that. Can I attack? No. Immediately tries to fight the guards. Oh. I can rotate the screen, but it's a little bit janky. It's a little janky. Yep, I, I did your thing. Excellent. Try the new spell you've learned. Uh, I feel like I just did twice, my dude. Oh, another cabbage. One for the road. So are these cards? Because they seem to stack as cards. Non-stackable items. Can't eat it though. Uh, more magic. Yes, I shall teach you this scent spell. Hey, come here. I have a task for you. You got it. Uh, allows you to show everything nearby which you can interact with. A single click will only sense important things, or a double click will sense everything. Okay. I'm. I can legit only click it once before it disappears. I'm not sure what it's talking about for double clicks. Would you like a cabbage, sir? No, thank you. I don't like cabbage. Yeah. The alarm. The goblin attack to arms. Squad one, move out. Squad four, move out. Look lively, recruit. A mob of goblins has breached the walls. We need all hands to help defend the town. Fetch the other recruits. Jermice, Delana, and Toblane meet here at the garrison gate. Cool. Who? Okay, so we gotta find Toblar, 
and Deatrix. Everyone will respect you. Yeah, that's nice. Um, goblins, go to the garrison gate. Oh dear. I'm expected to fight, but I have mislaid my bow. Oh, wonderful. Cool. The barracks I had before I took the little nap earlier. I can't remember seeing it since. Maybe Jeremis took it while I slept. That guy doesn't like me. Okay. Good to know that these are all useless. You look flustered, everything alright? Uh, goblins are invading. See there. Wait, 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 but wait, there's a bow? Okay, that's fine. Damn, I missed Toka becoming a guard. Uh, the goblins. Or they sound kind of scary, I think I'll stay here. Stop being so wet. <laughs> okay. I can't help it, that's my natural demeanor. Uh, the wrath of Corporal Benz does sound scarier than goblins. Okay. Oh, we got 52 bronze for copper. Don't mind me. I'm sure our goblins are murdering my friends right now, but I gotta search every single chest here. This is the way. Oh, Fiesta, how are you doing? I'm playing a uh, RuneScape clone today. Oh. Find a bow drawn the back, uh, down the back of the bed. Where else would you keep your bow? Of course. Oh, glad to hear it. Yeah, I I saw the game today and I was like, uh, well, there is a very warm spot in my heart for RuneScape. And I really like the idea of finding a decent uh, RuneScape clone. They are far and few between. Oh, thank you, thank you. Your star, however did it end up there. I'll go see what uh, Corporal Bins needs now. Yeah, I think we're uh, under attack for a, from a goblin. Oh. At last, you're all here. If you lot were any slower, the goblins would have died of old age. Oh. If we can kill them that way, we could wait safely and... <laughs> Until they keel over. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Okay, recruits through those gates. Got it. You've gained some money. This area displays how much money you currently have. Cool. Just loaded. 800 copper. Pretty cool. Goblins are green. Those aren't green. The game audio is pretty loud. Yeah, I'll go back and try and fix that in post, maybe. Actually, no, I, I don't think I'll be able to fix anything in post, come to think of it. Use sword. Well, I seem to attack with... They seem to attack with fire. Can I run away? Not really. Interesting. So there's no... Oh wait, was that auto loot? I 
attacked with in Inferne. Immune to Inferne. Interesting. You had to try and explain what an NPC was to someone? That's insane behavior. What? I mean, okay, okay. Were they like 40 plus? Because I could see that being a thing, right? Like someone's mom didn't understand like what an NPC was. I get that. A young, a young farm girl. Yeah, that, that almost makes too much sense, huh? Hello, sir. Ma'am? Hey, guard, would you come over here, please? I require assistance. Sure. You could use some young... Some help, young man. Uh, what do you need? I need help rec uh, rescuing my wares from the goblins. I'll reward you well. Can you grab that heavy crate, please? I think perhaps I should be helping with the goblins? I don't think you realize how incredibly important these items are. Quickly now. Whoa. Okay. Okay, follow me southwards to the town square. You got it. You're the camp mom at work? Okay. You're you're the young hip one that understands uh these young kid lingo. Right here we are. Uh, if you could please load my cart. Cool. The, these are your wares, correct? Here, take this reward. Cool, more money. Delana. See, there are. There you are. Corporal Benz is wondering where you went. You need to get back to the Stone Street now, or he'll be having you clean the whole training ground with a toothbrush. You gain an item which is part of the main story quest. Items which are only used by a specific quest appear here, instead of taking up space in your backpack. Good, good. Professions. Skills? You've started learning the guard profession. Profession. Uh, to view your progress in the profession, click here. Interesting. As you level up further, look for look here to see what new activities you can do to progress more quickly in this profession. Okay. Um. Interesting. Current active foes. I'm confuzzled. Hmm, okay, cool. Is there like an overall goal for this game? Probably. Uh I'm not really sure yet. So I literally just started it. I I think it's a lot like RuneScape, or it's an open world MMORPG. Um, hey, would you like a cabbage? Uh, still don't like cabbage. Um, I'm not really sure yet. Where did you disappear to? Um, I was helping Marcus Mint out. You just make up that name? Uh, he's over here. Ah, uh, he's gone. Oh, someone's injured. Fetch Ebsworth. Oh, didn't finish that one. Now we're learning about healing stuff, I assume. Oh dear, all the goblins outside. I haven't been able to restock the uh, reagents I need for my potions. Okay, I'll see you there. Discoverer. Oh, new discovery. Passive potion station. Interesting. Is there... I can discover that. And... 
Who knows it, actually. What did I just find? Press the back button to return the list of professions. Oh. Open the alchemist profession by clicking here. To help you remember where things are, each discovery you make will add to the map. A view on map button like this. Enable each thing to... Oh. I think I hate that. So if I need to craft a potion, will I not know where to go until I find like the apothecary in this area? That's insane. That's an insane way of doing things. Gross. Uh, the captain seems to be in a bad way. We'll have to make up a healing potion, which is going to be tricky when I'm clean out of brown kelp. Could someone run and fetch me a piece? Uh, head to the beach and the and bring Evsworth some brown kelp. You need to head south to the waterfront and head west. Okay. Uh, over here, I'm assuming, because everyone. Everywhere else is locked. Oh. Goblins. Oh, the sword, right? I feel like the sword's probably the way to go. Can I attack him as well? No, I can't. But at least combat's like one at a time. And apparently, uh, out of looting bodies too. I suppose that's helpful. there's fish in the game if these guys were lighting up like that. Oh, can I discover you? Oh. You're now a level one guard. Death Crow? I don't know what this means. What does this mean? Wait, can I catch a fish? Like with my bare hands? Maybe at least level two fishermen to catch lesser eels. Okay. Yeah, I know that's fair, I suppose. Is there a is there a beach somewhere here? Waterfront, okay. What are you? Bream. Neat. I guess that's what this is for, huh? Yeah. I have spells. My spells tell me what's in the area. Sense. Oh, didn't work. Sense. Ah, you see, there's a goblin here. Might not have noticed that earlier. I didn't have to discover that guy. I can talk to the crab. Oh. I don't think I have any food though. How's my day? Oh, it's been okay. Um, a little bit bummed out about election results and all that kind of stuff, but like, uh, it is what it is. Um. 
nothing that a little bit of escapism can't solve, am I right? Okay, cool. Level 2 guard. Go me. Talk. Hello, little crab. Click, 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 clack. Good story. Discover lobsters. Place pot. I don't have a pot. Need to be at least level 39 fishermen to catch orange lobsters. Okay. Right. Um. Rope. I'll take that, I suppose. You take the rope and put it in your tool belt. Not sure why I did that, but I love it. Some items are stored in your tool belt instead of taking up space in your backpack. This area displays which items you have on your tool belt. Cool. Yeah. Sense. Oh, I sense there's a swirl symbol. I'm gonna scratch this abstract design into the bricks. Okay, cool. Strange stone. It also has a swirly symbol. Okay. Level 30 crab. I think that thing will kill me. Sense. What are you? Flounder. Okay, crab doesn't seem to be hostile. Brown kelp. I need that. Yeah, I like the music too. Pretty swell. Cool. Can I grab more of this? I think I want more. Yeah, I want all of it. Give me all of your brown kelp. And I think I want some seashells too. I'm too dumb to pick it up. I'm not trained. Oh, miss that. Oh. Level one forager. The more level and uh, one more level until the next unlock. Okay. You got it. sudden I assume I have to brew this potion myself as well hmm I should talk to Ebsworth first though yes here it is well done on finding it. Hmm, I need to keep an eye on the captain's wounds. But I also need to make that potion. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't hurt if you do the initial preparation. Take the brown kelp to the reagent preparation station in my shop. There's quite a lot of stations in the apothecary, but the reagent preparation one is the chopping board on the counter. Pop back to me uh, with the preparation when you finish making it. Okay. Chopping board. Oh, you got it. Yeah, RuneScape. RuneScape was a vibe. Um, it was really like my first like MMO game. Um, and I sunk years into that game. Uh, absolute years. I can't play it anymore though unfortunately uh because i was a member for so long that my my bank my bank is like has like 500 items in it and free accounts you can only have like 200 items so if i if i take anything out of my bank i can never put it back in so it's like 
I would have to pay like $5 or $10 a month to play RuneScape, and I'm not really sure if I'm invested that much. Uh, yes, I have repaired the kelp. Okay, that's actually quite good. Clearly have talent for this. I don't think I should leave the captain. Uh, we'll have to risk you finishing the potion yourself. Okay. And take this bottle and the preparation to this uh, standard potion station in my shop and use it to make a healing potion. Okay. Standard potion station. Got it. Oh, look at him go. Like he knows what he's doing. Run out of bottles. Cool. You have gained a container. Containers do not take up space in your backpack. This area displays how many containers you currently have. Okay. I'm not even sure where my where my backpack Oh, it's down here. Okay. So health potions do take up a space. <sighs> Dribbles it down your neck. That's a fine medicine. I'm starting to feel better already. Good. That was the plan. And we have dispatched the last of the goblins. Good work. Get everyone back to the garrison. Okay, you miserable lot. You heard the captain. Now move it. Zeep, report to me when you get back. Am I the captain here? Like the captain of my little group? Why do I have to report back? The captain wants me to commend you on a good, uh, good job out there. So, yeah, well done. Sorry, man, I thought you were closer than that. Okay. Uh, now while we're on duty, Corporal. Anyway, we all want, uh, you wanted news we got back from the Timberwell village. Routed a bunch of goblins from there. The world is again, um, the world is getting a more dangerous place. Good English. Uh, talking, talking of danger, we have new recruits such as Zeep here. In need of learning the immunity spell. Cool. Cool. New spell. What does it do? No idea. Okay. I got a little bubble around me. I'm a little bubble boy. Look at that. The next job will be to take you on a training drill in the forest, but you need a little more training before it is safe for you to get to the forest. I need to complete your bow training with Robin, who is standing over there by the archery targets. I also need you to train your total level to at least 60. That sounds like a high level for a tutorial island mission. Cool. Privacy setting, you can now meet other players. Oh. You can choose what kinds of interactions you wish to allow slash and disallow via your privacy settings here. Chat with nobody. Share a character name with nobody. <laughs> uh, my birthday's coming up, guys. What? Oh my god, what is this? Non-American. Gross. Anybody. Anybody. Oh, okay.
Yeah, look at that. I'm very social. You're dressed like Peter Pan or Robin Hood. Um, and his bandy of merriment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of just like a default look, you know? It's... it'll catch on someday, I'm sure. You. I would keep my bow skills finely tuned if we were to just bend hope port. Uh, tell me how to bow. I only have time to teach the most promising recruits. Half of you won't last a month anyway. Uh, do some more combat training with your sword first and then come back to me when you're at least level 15 guard. What the fuck is going on? Really? That seems insane to me. I just... Bro, I just want a... I just want the bow. Uh, click here when you want to stop training. Okay. Good talk. Where's my XP? Okay. Cool, get out of my face. Thanks. Um... Purple Bins has told me to talk to Robin in the training ground to do my bow training. I need to reach level 50 to start my bow training. The total hope port level... Get my total hope port level to 60. Wait... Does your level restart once you leave areas? Oh. I don't know if I like that. And then return back to him for more training. I don't even know this stuff. I'm gonna start this quest I'm talking to. Right, so you're just telling me where to start the quest then. Interesting. What are you gonna do for your last birthday in your 20s? Oh. Oh. You really had to put it that way, didn't you? Ooh. I don't know. Uh, probably just hang out with friends. Like, nothing huge or anything. Um. Yeah, I'm not really sure I haven't really planned it out yet. A surprise party would be nice. But we'll see. We'll see. Am I getting any level from this? I'm slashing the thing, but I don't think it's doing anything. Oh, next level at 1545. Is this my current XP? 1230? I don't think I'm doing anything. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so I need to get level 15 before I can touch a bow. Oh! Oh! There are people here now. Look at that! Oh! So much hustle and bustle! I've updated the... Interesting... What is he doing? He just did like a pocket portal. Where are you guys going? There's stuff over here. Recipe book, you can level up your chef profession in this room. Read the recipe book to further instructions. Okay, I will. How's my audio? Is it still crazy? It's obnoxious, okay. Um, yeah, I can't really fix that right now, can I? I was hoping that would just kind of like chill out on its own. Wait, if I do, 
I just thought about something. No. That mutes me. Did that magically fix everything? I don't think so. Um, I do actually have another option. I could go back here, and I can go to the volume mixer, and I can go to... Oh, fuck that up. Hmm. Nope, no idea. It is unfixable. Um, bacon sandwich. Basic raw bacon plus bread. Cool. That is, in fact, a bacon sandwich. Discovered a cooking station. Neat. They're doing something. I don't know what he's doing. They're cooking. That's for that's a future thing to look into. Gosh, this game is laid out so strangely. I guess I haven't gone over here yet, have I? Why is this laid out the way it is? Wall plant. I can forge the wall plant? Nope, I don't know how, I'm too stupid. Death Crow. Yeah, let's attack some Death Crow. Immunity spell. If you want to retreat from battle, you can click here to cast the new immunity spell. Don't leave it too late, as it takes a few seconds to cast. Oh. Should I cast that? I'm getting my ass kicked by a crow. Wonderful. Cool, I don't know what this means. Current active foes. Hmm. Oh. Give me a second, I just had a, uh, a, a, uh, a brain blast. If I... I can probably fix the audio. How do I get to the tab that fixed it last time? I'm gonna move this over to the main screen so I can actually look at it. Um, because I'm thinking the the audio is probably doubling up in my microphone because I'm using a different. Um, Earpiece as usual. More sound settings. There we go. Okay, so let me... Okay, test one, two. Okay. Um, if I go down here... Properties? No. Yeah. 
if I okay, so this is at negative thirteen. Okay, test one two. I'm not sure if that did anything. I don't think so. Bummer. Yeah. I thought I figured it out. I did it. Huh. Yeah, I guess it's just broken forever. Okay, uh, crows. Am I still badly damaged? No, okay, so I gain all health back once I leave combat and come back. Chainmail legs? Wait, so you don't auto loot, you only auto loot coin? This game doesn't make any sense. Oh, I hate this. I hate that every single time you want to attack something, it's like, what do you want to attack with? Do you want to do bare hands or do you want to use a sword? Uh, you can view and unequip your equipped armor here. Once combat starts, you can no longer change which armor you have equipped. Okay, that's nice. Yeah, so I have a sword equipped. It's like... Like, I don't... This dialogue box is insane to me. Absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, I mean... I can see what the game is going for. I just don't think it's well done, like in the least bit. Cool, level up. Like this, this, I don't feel like this tells me anything. Like, why is this thief red? Sparring guard. Okay, so I could spar with the guy. Oh, like, are these just like the possible enemies that I'm recommended to fight? I mean, it's like pre-alpha. This is a very early access game. Yeah, no, you're right, you're right. It is a super early access game. Like, I can't be too upset with like all the flaws. But like, there's some weird stuff. There's some weird stuff. Ooh, what are you? What are you? Guards longsword. Oh no, now I have two swords. Is this better? Two-handed. It is better. Attack with a long sword. I can't tell if that's doing more damage or not. I think so. I think it's doing it faster. Maybe. Oh, the early grind, though. So it looks like once I discover the forest, what, like I revert back to like level one combat, level, or level zero guard, level zero 
chef and fisher and forge. I, I don't know how to feel about that. Like, it feels like just grind for the sake of grinding. You know? Like, enchantress. I can enchant stuff. Hmm. Welcome to my shop. Would you like me to enchant your equipment? Yes. Future items. I not yet own. Ah, I see. Okay. Interesting. That looks like a giant rat. There's a rat cat right there. Pipe alley? Yeah, there's some uh, broken pipes here. Oh, I love to be among the pipes. You like stinky sewage pipes? To you, there may be stinky sewage pipes. To me, they're the veins to which these towns towns alive. And I'm the doctor who makes sure they're all flowing properly. Okay, pipe dude. Dogger? I don't know if I have anything to trade. What? Oh, you can only trade certain items. Right, right, right. Yeah, no, that, that makes sense. Yeah. Because he only uh, sells cloth, so he only wants to buy cloth. No, that makes totally sense. Yeah. <laughs> Forger's Warehouse. Okay, and I only sell forgeable. I can't sell anything. I haven't unlocked that ability yet. I'll buy 10, I guess. Oh, and then I'm out of the menu. Just, just a sack? I'm not even sure what that does. Uh, okay, so those do stack up until at least 10. I'll buy 10 of those as well. Okay, I see. Um, I don't know. I'll buy a bucket, a basket, um, I don't know, a crate, I guess, and a sack. Sure. Okay, so these are all stackable on the tool belt. That is good to know. Neat. Is there a specific build you're going for? <laughs> I have no idea, honestly. Um, typically in RuneScape, I like to go for magic. Um, but I have no idea like what even there is here. Like there's spells up here, right? I have sense, teleport, and immunity. So, like, none of which are combat sp spells. I had to rediscover the Death Crow. So, I had to discover the Death Crow for this area. That's weird. This yeah. is weird. All of this is weird. Oh, oh, I can't, I can't attack him. I have to discover him. What the heck? No, do that one. Okay, this guy's higher level than me, right? Looter Goblin? I got it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a bad area. Yeah, look at that. Six defense. The crows will only have two. Wait, no. Yeah. Yeah, it was that guy. Interesting. Cool, I found a pair of gloves at least. Oh, 
Oh, discover that guy. That's a goblin chef. Hope Forest. Where do you think you're going? I hope you're not deserting. Sorry about my colleague. We have been ordered to keep the gate closed by Captain De Green. Okay, so I need to do the main quest before I can even go in there. Gotcha, gotcha. So I do actually need to get to like level 15 and then try out the bow. And then what, just keep on grinding levels? Well, the other guy said total level of 60, so that, incre that includes like cooking and stuff. And as long as I just keep on getting XP for the crows, I think the crows are probably the best way to go. Because I auto heal after every single one that I kill, I just have to make sure don't die. Although some sometimes it gets awfully close, doesn't it? Um I want that. Spear. I have a spear now. Hey, where'd he go? Where'd he go? Guard's pike. Totally different than a spear. Which weapon do you like to equip? This has better strength. This has 30% more fart power. Hmm. I think I'll stick with the, the old. Is this enchanted or something? I don't know what the fart power thing here is. I'll go with strength, I guess. Yeah, let me go to like level seven and then I'll um, look into the whole like cooking thing. Or I suppose, how much money do I have? Got like 300 silver. Ooh. Wait, that's purple. Is purple good? I think purple might be good. Rare. Ooh la la. Oh, look at that. It's better against ice and farts and uh, music discs and fighter. All together, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's do the new pants. Look at that, we're getting somewhere now. Getting rare drops left and right. I'm not sure where the symbols are. Am I being hit with death? damage. Hmm. Okay. I guess a uh, potion craft is also a thing, isn't it? But I need vials. Can I buy a hundred? Two hundred? Three hundred vials. Cool. It's a it's a really good tool belt, guys. It's a really good tool belt. This should get us to level seven, though. sword. Mm. Okay, yeah, I don't think the new sword is, is better than what we have. Ooh, let me discover you. You're a thief. 
I see, I see. What are you? You're a rotten tree stump, I see. Of course you are. What are you? You're a street louse. Of course, of course. This game is weird. It's a strange, strange game. I think I'm uh, currently in an area that I cannot, uh, cannot survive for very long. And let me just run away. Oh, uh, hey, uh, you should run away. I was gonna kill you. You like you like my reaction to the weirdness? Yeah. Uh it's it's really weird. It's a really weird game. I mean like like every aspect of it really. Just it it's just throwing me for a loop left and right. Oh, fishing. I want to do that. Oh. Is there a fishing quest? There's probably a person to talk to about fishing your first fish. Uh, oh, there's a fish, uh, fishmonger down the way, wasn't there? Let go of your expectations. No, that's fair. That's absolutely fair. Good day to you, friend. Welcome to the frequently fresh fish stall. I buy and sell fish. Um. Okay. Can't buy anything. I can sell fish, though. Bush. Lurk behind. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, no, naturally. I can't move. Cool. I can just sit on the bench. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's raining here. Not raining here. Raining here. Right. Bream 45. Need to be at least level 45 to catch leathery bream. Cool, cool. I already have rope, you say. Fisherwoman. Hello. Nice day for fishing. Wouldn't know. Would not know. Salty swine? Ooh, discovered. Where are you? Mechabit. Mechabit? Cool, cool. I think I need to be a higher level to do that. Captain Woolhead. Do you know how to fish? Gersh. <laughs> Curse, that's a cursed storm. I hate being trapped in poor. It makes me feel trapped. I long for brighter shores. Oh, that's the name of the game. They, they did it. Said it. Well, I can steal his money, so that's okay. The ghost ship. Yes. Oh, there's a... Okay. Their thing is a pig, not a mermaid. Interesting. What's this? 
Oh. I can emote. Look at that. Disco dance. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Very neat. Lobster pot. Not high enough for that. I need to find like a level one fish. Level 38. Hmm. For some Flounder level zero. Here we go. I found my fish, guys. Uh, to catch. Motled flounder you need. Level zero fisherman. Fishing spear. Oh, of course. Uh, community server offline. Can I not? I can't. I can't talk. Oh. Can I add friend? No. Okay. There is zero communication possible right now. Is what I'm getting out of here. Trade. Do you sell? There's nothing available to buy from this shop at your current level to see items. Ah, future items. I don't know what any of that is. Monument piece? Okay. Do I have a map by chance? I got this. Oh gosh. I see. But it doesn't tell you what the shop is or what they say. This guy hasn't told me the name of his shop. Sorry my stock hasn't arrived yet. Please check back later and get a genuine plug. Did that do anything? Okay, so the shop itself just is non-existent. Cool. Overgrown pond. Bugman. Of course. No, that tracks. Yeah. Feels like all of that's bad. Nettle. Cool, cool. Pondweed. Okay. But I do like this, how like it now shows you in the future, like, hey, there's a bug man, nettle and pondweed here. They could do it better, but like, could be worse. I help you have junk to sort. Um, you heard ran off, but ended up in the scrap wart yard worker. Um, I should have a share of the brand off inheritance, but my, but for the misfortune of my family, uh. 50 years ago, my great-grandmother lady was uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't really care about the dialogue, I'll be honest. I can help you find the inheritance. Got it. Any idea what your clues mean? Not really, I suppose the treasure lies somewhere within the confines of this map. I'm guessing it only makes sense in combination with other clues. Who else has Florentine's clues? Some of her other descendants for a start. There's Lord Branoff. His father was 
the only one who got anything because the tiles of the house are something Florentine couldn't hide. Interesting. Okay, so there's clues, there's a there's a treasure. Oh I'm collecting clues for Hale ran off to find a lost inheritance. I need to decipher the swirl clue. I need a clue from James Newtap. I need a clue from the Hadley family. I need a clue from Lord Branoff. Okay. Just looks like a map though. On the back you find an inscription which says opposite the geometric shapes. Interesting. Remove broom. So if you remove the broom, the bath would fall down. I think that's the point. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think there's anything else here to check out. Oh, wait, the swirl. Investigate. The swirl matches the clue given to you by Hale. Make a mention of it. The location. What about this? No? Is that not swirly enough for me? Ooh, what's down here? The hooked hand. Okay, so we have a bar now. Hey. Hey yourself. One drink. Old grog here. No, I'm not interested in grog. What if I am? Grog is fine. I'll drink grog. All day. Grood the barkeeper. Cool. Wait, why don't they have names? I can see most people's names, but their name is just 16. Interesting. Fishmonger. Eh, show me your wares. Show me your future items. None of these are a spear. Spear would be nice. Will help crossing. Cool. Sense. Fish. Puffer fish level four. Again, still need that spear though. Can I open this? Door is boarded up and will not open. I have been here before. Cape shop. The forager's warehouse. I don't think that helps me though, because that's a warehouse, right? That's like a bank. Potions. Order master shop? 
Hold up. Can I just click on the map and then fast travel? No. Not like that at all. Cool. Um, I guess let's go to... Oh, can't go that way. I'm thinking let's go to the Forager's Warehouse. Maybe they can sell something useful there. And if not, then we go to the other place. Oh, this is a bad alley to be down. Instantly regret all of this. Okay, where am I? Oh, the map closed. Wonderful. Oh, nope. Too far. In here? This seems right. No. No, he doesn't sell what we want, does he? Future items. Must be a level 6 forager. He haven't told what these items are. Oh, there we go. I see, they are just completely useless to me right now then. Yeah, so then, let's go back to the starting area then. Hopefully we can buy something there. He's doing some black hole magic right there. Not quite sure what that is. Stone Street, Kevin's in ingredients. Who? Hello there. Who are you? What do you do? Must be level 59 alchemist. 188 alchemist. Oh. What? Are there not level ca 393 alchemists? Are there not level caps? Wild. 490. There's a lot of stuff here. 470. Okay. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I do know something about alchemy, though. Right? Like, I can make a... Oh! Oh! Fish store? Mel's Fishing Supplies. Oh, I think we found it, guys. Oh, I think we found it. Fishing Spear. What do you mean, not enough money? It's 12? Okay, let me go kill some people, I guess. Or, um, we can do alchemy. Yeah, we can do some alchemy. Yeah, look at this. Just making some health potions. Easy peasy. Level, level one alchemist. Cool. 10% potion healing. Wait, level two, I get 20% healing potion. Oh. Interesting. I think I like that mechanic a lot. Yeah, I think I actually really like that. Because then that incentivizes higher level players to actually be the ones crafting the uh, healing potions. Uh, on the TV, the audio sounds fine. Okay, cool. It's a uh, watch me on the big screen, I guess. I'm fine with that. Um, so I did just make a healing potion. Can I trade that healing potion to this dude? No. Okay. I mean, surely I should be able to sell my wares to someone, right? 
trade. Hey, you own a potion shop. Can I sell you potion? No, I still don't have enough though. Can I? Hmm. Okay. I need like two more silver. Bummer. Kevin? What do you do, Kevin? You sell bread? I'll buy 10 bread. Oh, and you sell bacon? I'll buy 10. I'll buy 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bacon? Not enough backspace. I see. I s oh, I see. But with this bread and bacon, I can go to infirmary, barracks, office, portal, chef's bounty board. Yeah, I can make bacon sandwiches. Where am I? Where am I? Why am I up there? Oh, what? It, what? What's? What's? What's over here, though? Banoff Boulevard. Right. I think I might be good on all this. Ooh, ooh. So go up here. The delicatable dab restaurant. Go through the back. Go to the kitchen. And they have a chef's bounty board. Bacon sandwich. Basic. Raw bacon and bread. Okay. I want to make this. Preparation steps. Frying pan. Fry some bacon in the frying pan. Two. Preparation table. Sandwich the bacon between some bread at the preparation table. Cool. Use. For the bacon. Look at this. Oh. It's like we know what we're doing. It's weird on the 70 inch. I don't know. I think things should be just fine. Probably look just as fine with my uh, 4K webcam that gets shrunk down to like this big. Uh, preparation table. Oven, oven. Chopping, chopping, prep. All right, yeah, bacon sandwich. Interesting, so you don't get any experience for the ingredients. You only get full experience when you make the final recipe. Okay. But do I actually gain any money for doing this, or am I down money now? Because... Okay, that's cool. Because in, in RuneScape... Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh, we're back. 560? Money? Use that chef's bounty board, head chef. Hmm, interesting. I 
Do you have any work? You could use some help in the kitchen, I'll pack. Okay. Wait, do I turn it into the bounty board? Is that... It is a bounty board, isn't it? No. What am I missing here? There are chest bounty board. I see, I see, it's right here. You need to be at least level nine chef to use the bounty board. Okay, um, cool. Batter barrel, interesting. So I have sandwiches. What do I do with these now? Oh, hardly. Hadly. Hopefully we see brighter shores soon. Hopefully there's no ordinary storm so peculiar that the rain stays in one place. Oh, so they're aware of the weird rain effect. Yes, my great-grandmother was a Branoff. How did you know that? I was talking to Haley Branoff. Apparently your family have a clue to hidden Branoff fortune. Yeah, I'm just not interested in the dialogue, unfortunately. See anyone that can sell stuff to. This is a quest character, though. I was able to see that. Kevin, will you buy my sandwiches? I mean, you'll buy my bread, I suppose. I'll sell my uh, free cabbage. If I can find someone that that buys sandwiches, I think we might be in order, right? If I can sell the sandwiches for more than I buy the ingredients for, we can just money loop that. Oh, yeah. Uh... Uncommon guard sword. Uh, we don't need that. We don't need those. We don't need that either. Buyback? Oh, I like that. If I leave, I can still buy back. Interesting. Now, where do I sell Sammy's to? Yo, I haven't gone this way yet. Sparring guard, okay. Sure, I guess I'll uh, attack you. Am I gonna kill this man? I'm, re I'm regenerating health as I do this. Hmm. I made money. I made money from you. Okay. Interesting.
would the potion person buy sandwiches? Because sandwiches are basically potions, but in solid form. Nope. Okay, worth a try. The way there's a wayward traveler over here. Would would do you think uh Zeltray buys sandwiches? No. Buy eggs? They buy a lot of weird shit. They buy they buy beats men claw beast man claws, but not not sandwiches. Hmm. Hip shop. Forager's warehouse. No, that wouldn't do it either, right? I haven't gone this way yet. Let's go down here. Then maybe there'll be a, a sandwich vendor. <laughs> Me at Hot Topic. I do love Hot Topic. I haven't actually bought anything from a Hot Topic in quite some time though. Oh, Port Obelisk. Wow. What is that? Whatever this thing is, it appears to be broken. Okay. Hey, purple man. Look forward. I am. The corporal has been up this ladder for ages. I didn't join the guard to be a ladder stop. Can I talk to you? The obelisk, the obelisk is proving difficult to fix. Right. Ah, I don't know anything about obelisk repair. All of you, my dude. You're a Lilo and Stitch fanatic? Okay. You know, Ohana means family. Uh, that's all about all I know. Um, I do also know that in the um, original release of Lilo and Stitch versus the uh, what's on Disney, they have changed a few things to make it more uh, child friendly. Like putting Lilo in the dryer and closing the door. Yeah, did not make it to a Disney Plus, unfortunately. What? Where am I? Sideboard? Oh, money! I like money. Yeah. Hello, sir. Uh, who are you? I'm the steward of Lord Branoff. Oh, quest stuff. Oh, look at all this important dialogue and backstory that I'm totally missing. That's probably important. They sure are saying a lot. see one book out of place there that I really want to check out. Oh, Branoff's chambers. Are you Branoff? Hey, tell me all your life secrets. I have treasure to find. Uh, I'd be the one securing the treasure, not her. Do I have any guarantee you wouldn't run off the treasure yourself? Uh, I uphold the law. That helps. But with the amount of money involved, I'm not sure it's enough. How can I prove my trustworthiness? Uh, I believe Sultar Malzak of the town guard has a spell that they use to track people on bail. Go and ask him to cast that spell so I can track you. Those are my terms. Cool. Don't mind me as I search your stuff. Wonderful. Oh, 
Oh, I'm gonna take your paper too. Ah, take that. Cool. Search the wardrobe. He's worried about me running off with the treasure, and here I am just like taking all of his uh, spare change. Oh, we have 12 silver now. We have enough to start fishing. You know, if this game is anything like RuneScape, you know, fishing is where the real money's at. All you have to do is uh, spend 12 consecutive hours fishing, and you might make some money. Yeah. Wait. No, this is a food place. I want... The fish place. Not that fish place, that's where you eat fish. This is where you go to do fish stuff. Well, a large part of it had to be changed after 9-11 happened before it released. Wait. Were there images in Lilo and Stitch that were less tasteful after 9-11? I guess Stitch is, is a plane spaceship crash. It's a wild thing to even think about. Huh. Open the fisherman's profession by clicking here. You have gained equipment which relates to the fisherman profession. Profession equipment does not take up space in your backpack and instead appears here. I do like this. Like, this is a good aspect of the game. I really enjoy that it doesn't waste inventory space. It's like, RuneScape didn't do that. Um, which is always obnoxious because it's like, your, oh gosh. Your inventory space in RuneScape was like, what, like 30 or so? Oh, 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 no, leave. So it's like, if I wanted to fish in RuneScape, I couldn't get like a full inventory because you also have to hold the, um, like the net or whatever. So it was like one less fish that you could catch. But I like that, like, you don't have to like go to your bank, collect the resources to fish, and then just fish. And just do it. Okay, flounders are over there. I need to go... over there there's a rendition of the spaceship flying through the city oh okay yeah okay that's yikes yikes on trikes I can see how some people might uh might frown upon that just a little bit I want eels um, so I'm gonna get flounders until level two. And then I'm gonna go get eels. I think that's the plan. Look at this dude, he's- no wait, no that's an NPC. <laughs> level 48 already? Wow! Is it down more? I think it's down more. Look at all these people doing stuff. Oh, I got full inventory of sandwiches I don't know what to do with still. Cool. Look at that. I'm just, I'm just doing it. I'm just, I'm just fishing. Yeah. Level one. Cool. There's no more fish. We have fished the ocean dry. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Do 
there anymore? There's one over there. Yeah. At least the respawn is decent, right? Like in RuneScape, there's like a fishing spot. Um, this is a little bit more obnoxious having to like track them down, but like this isn't this isn't too bad. This is okay. I'll post the link to the video on the Discord. Okay. It's like almost a total Simpsons thing. <laughs> oh, I see. Like, like the, the the video came out first, and then 9/11 happened, and it's like, oh, we totally predicted it. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, well, it's like the the Simpsons thing is interesting because it's like it's not like they're actually predicting the future. I feel like they just make so many jokes and gaffes. That's like eventually some of them like just line up to be reality. It's like if you if you say anything enough, like some things are gonna be pretty clairvoyant looking, you know. Ooh, level two. I can do eagles. Yeah. Okay. Oh, on top of that, though, we know a dude. You know, we, we know a dude that really likes to buy usually fresh fish. Where is he? Is he over here? Oh, wait, what's down here? This food? Can I sell sandwiches down here? Fuck, no. He only sells ale. Right. Ah, what do I do with all these sandwiches? Like, I'm worrying that I need to be... Like, what is it? Like, level 7 cooking? In order to do the bounty board. I feel like the bounty board is the only way to, um... to sell food. Oh, it's like almost no money. You don't you don't buy sandwiches? I don't want to just drop it. Hmm. Oh, I never even checked if I could cook those. Oh, that's a lot of XP. I feel like they respawn a lot faster here. Maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah, those respawn pretty slowly. There are recipes for eel, I know that much. Oh. There are puffer fish. I did see puffer fish in the world. Yeah, I think this is the way. You have to go back and forth left and right a whole bunch. No more over here. Buffer fish. Okay, okay. 
I want to look at professions. Uh, cooking specifically. Lester jellied eels. Oh, and it shows you where you can go. Yes, of course. How do you make the jelly deals? Because maybe it'll be worth it to buy a bunch of bacon, buy a bunch of bread, make bacon sandwiches, right? And then I fish for the eel because if I can't figure out how to sell food right now, if I can minimize the cost to get the ingredients, that's probably for the best. I have to be level what, nine? Yeah. So let's read the recipe book then. Uh, level 102 plus. Level two. What is going on here? Why is this sorted like this? Gelatin. Okay. I have no idea where to get gelatin. A wobbly animal product. Okay. Is gelatin on the menu? It is not. How do you make gelatin? Why won't you tell me how to make this? Chill the jelly eel in the icebox until cold. Boil the eel in a boiling pot with some gelatin. I don't have gelatin. Why are you not telling me? Batter barrel 102. Ingredients bank? Wait. What? I can just store my stuff in here. Oh. Interesting. Oh. Cream, huh. beetroot, fast bacon, gelatin. Is gelatin just an item that you buy raw? Probably from the dude out here. From Kevin? Does Kevin sell gelatin? Oh, you've been enjoying Dredge? Yeah, Dredge is a lot of fun. It's a lot, a lot of fun. Um, I like it. Um, I'm planning on doing Dredge uploads every Saturday. I think that's what I want to do. Chef level 2 to buy gelatin. Okay. What if I... Five, six, seven. And I buy... Not off money. Oh, the sandwich business is going to kill me here. Oh, I should uh, probably cook the bacon first. Huh. 
Of course, Wild Mudkip, that uh, RuneScape YouTuber. He just uploaded a video of this, this game. Ah, beat me to it. Of course he did. <laughs> of course, the RuneScape guy plays a RuneScape clone. <laughs> will do. Did I buy the perfect amount? Oh, awesome. Jellied eels. Awesome, that sells for <laughs> less than a sandwich. If I can find the person that buys it, that would be great. Okay, what does my inventory look like? Just a ton of sandwiches and bacon. Use that chef's bounty board. Head chef. Sold to head chef. Wait, is head chef inside there? Oh my god. Head chef. You buy sandwiches? Oh ho 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 ho. Oh, you do. You do buy sandwiches. Uh, bacon. One, two, three, four. Okay. We might be onto something now. If this is a way to make money, I will do this for a while. Um, let's see. So let's buy 10 bread. And let's buy... Um... 1 plus 5 bacon. This might be it. If I can make money on this transaction... Do you remember how much uh how much coin we had before we just bought all that stuff? Cause I don't. I wanna say two or three silver. But the issue is I don't think we're gonna get above that. At least it's decent XP too though. Like, I honestly don't know if I'm doing this more for the money or more for the XP. It's kind of both, really. Ooh, level three. I like that it doesn't give you the uh, level up pop up until after you're done doing the the task. I, I like that a lot. I can make an omelet at level four. Cool. Head chef, where'd you go? There you are. I got ten sandwiches. Five. Oh. We're printing money. Yeah, 100%. Eight. Three, four, five, ten, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen, twenty-four. We have twenty-four slots, right? So we can do twelve of each. Um, ten, eleven, twelve, and then ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. Yeah, if you don't look directly at the bugs, this is very much RuneScape, I feel.
I almost wish that the uh, graphics were a little bit worse. Is that insane to say? Like to give it more of that like RuneScape touch. Like it's almost like the characters themselves are a little bit too... I don't know. I don't really know the word for it. Not polished because that's not really the right word. But it doesn't quite hit that uh, nostalgia vibe for me. It's like, you know, it's like right there. It's so close. now <laughs> ridiculous I'm trying to think right now which is always hard for me right um I'm not seeing I'm not seeing the recipe for the um the puffer fish. Which is strange because puffer fish are level four fishing. Like eel are level two. You would think that would be able to cook puffer fish at level four. But maybe that's a future recipe. Which would be really interesting. Puffer sashimi, 379 plus. Okay, so I can catch puffer fish at a level four chef or a level four fisherman, but you can't cook it until like 379. That seems like a big jump. Why aren't puffer fish harder to catch? I do want to do jellied eels. But that costs gelatin. But I can source the eel myself. So really, I think jellied eels would be the best source of money. And then you're also upgrading fishing as well. I think that's the move now. Get a uh, inventory of uh, 24 deals and then go back to the kitchen, deposit, and then come back. I think that's probably the best plan. Now, there are eels over here. God, did the audio just pick that up? <laughs> the sound of my stomach rumbling. Yeah. Oh, that's upsetting. <laughs> yeah, I think... This is pretty close. This is pretty close to the restaurant. I think this is probably going to be the closest I can get. Right? Not too much walking. I should be able to do this. I wish I could have my inventory open and do activities. That's my biggest gripe so far. Because I like, I like watching the items pop in as I'm doing stuff. Like, I wish I could just, like, keep this locked open.
They seem impersonal with themselves. What exactly do you mean on that? Do you mind expanding a little bit? Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think of exactly what you mean by that, but I can't tell. I jump around to conversations like uh, like I'm unmedicated with ADHD, uh, which is unfortunately the case right now. Oh, oh, oh! Level up. Yeah, I can do puffer fish. The fat round like a fish balloon. Cool. Wait, I can do gray eels? Level 8 fishing and then make the same eel food. Oh, I don't know if I like that. I could get much more expensive fish and still cook it in a level 4 cooking dish. Back over to this side. Double clicking doesn't do anything. Yeah, I wish that the the quick action was quicker because I don't want to like click on something and be like, oh, let me scroll over to catch. Like, it needs to be more immediate, I suppose. I mean, same with the combat thing, you know, like, you go into combat, be like, oh, let me go over here. Select my weapon. Like, there should be, like, a preloaded default, I feel. Ooh, level six. Are you now do flounder? I have no idea where Flounder can be found. Look at that dude. Look at that dude, little flat dude. I like that. Still got room for a couple more eels. this game is I think trying to do with having like the individual like fish that you click on and do catch I think they're trying to limit the AFK ability because personally that's like what I found so fun about RuneScape is because <laughs> this sounds dumb saying it out loud but like with RuneScape um like part of the big grind was you click on something and then you fuck off and you do some other minimal task like on your phone or something you're like watch tv like runescape had a very strong like afk gameplay mechanic i think this is taking away afkable aspects of the game by making it so you have individual fishing spots i don't know if i like that because Call me crazy, but I feel like being able to AFK fish is what made me stick with it for so long. Because I could be like, I want to go to this fishing spot, and you click it, and then you just fish for like a minute or two, right? And it's like, okay, no more fish, dude. And you're like, okay, I want to go over one block, and I want to fish here for a minute. And you just do it. I think that's what I really found enjoyable about RuneScape. That I don't really feel like is in a lot of other games. Is that crazy? I feel like that's a crazy take. But I feel like it also kept the game alive, right? Because it's like, you go out into like the wild and be like, Oh, there's like 500 people fishing in this one spot. 
It's like, yeah, but if you said something or it's like buying X fish for an insane price, like only like five people would really respond, you know? I don't know. Wild takes from an old man. Do I remember Newgrounds? Oh, so vaguely. So, so very vaguely. Um, I was never really on Newgrounds very much. I was on AddictingGames.com. That was my shit. That's where I played most of my free games back in the day. I got Newgrounds computer getting like hundreds of viruses on that thing and you're not even sure what you're really doing. No, Addicting Games is my jam. 100%. Um, what did we say? Was it 12? 10? 11? 12? Nope. Uh, open. Um, and then 10, 11, 12. Cool. Um... How do you make this again? You just boil it. Jellied eels. Boil the eel. Boil and pot with gelatin. Chill the jellied eel in an ice box until cold. Gotcha. I'm a crazy person. I never let Adobe uninstall flash for my laptop i mean why would you want to install flash right like it's we still use flash don't we do we not um i don't know like i don't think you have a reason to uninstall flash you have reasons out there to install it i say keep it on you never know what game you might come across i mean I've downloaded crazy stuff in the last couple months on my computer. Like, I've... Like, there are old games from, like, the 90s that, like... I've downloaded virtual machines. I've downloaded a bootlegged version of Windows 95, right? Like... Like, insane stuff. Um... I don't know. I mean, that's my take, though. I'm... I'm a f crazy person on the internet, though. Right? Like, I... I say just download it. <laughs> what's, what's, what's the worst that could happen? They discontinued it, and they're super aggressive about it. Huh. I don't know. First I've heard about it. Or, no, actually... No, I, I did hear something about, um... Linus Tech Tips talking about that. Yeah, I guess that's vaguely familiar. We just got two levels right there. <laughs> sausage and mash. Not the most generous of servings. Yeah, that's one sausage and one scoop of mash. Oh, I can do the bounty board soon. Oh, we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. Oh, big money. And 11, 12. Oh, awesome. I like the animation. Decent animation. Like... Jellied eels sounds disgusting. This animation that I'm seeing right here, it it solidifies it. It looks disgusting. Very well done. You know, that thing that I said about the AFK ability, I think I might take it back, honestly. 
Because, like, right here, make 12 of something. This gives me enough time to, like, do anything else, right? Not, like, a ton of time, but, like, I could be watching a show right now. I could get something productive done. <laughs> You've said jellied eels too many times. It sounds weird. I listen, listen. I think, I think saying jellied eels one time sounds weird. I mean, what are jellied eels anyway? It's it's. I'm boiling eels with gelatin mix. It is a disgusting thing for disgusting people. Um, that being said. Do you know of that, like, uh, the, um, the tuna gelatin mold? That sounds disgusting, and I want to try that someday. Like, I think it's from, like, the 60s or 70s or something. But it's, like, you, you have, like, tuna, and you have, like, um, like, olives, I think, and, like, cucumbers. And then you take all these like weird ingredients that don't go together and then you make a, a gelatin cake with those things inside of it. And it sounds disgusting, but they did that for like a few good years and people loved it. I think, I think that, no, you, you, you're wrong. You, you say it sounds awful. I think that sounds like the best thing ever. That sounds like an experiment dessert. I mean, when's the best time to experiment? You're right, in the kitchen. Um, nothing possible could go wrong. Um, it's probably fine. It's probably fine. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> like, like how some people don't like the word moist. <laughs> I feel like that's a, a normal reaction. Like, moist is a weird word. They with like succulent or uh, plump. Um, jellied eel, I think, is a word that you should not like. Your brain should put those two words together and be like, that's wrong. That's like green eggs and ham. That's bad. Don't do that. Oh, from the one who calls tater tot casserole tater tot hot dish. Yeah, because it's a hot dish. You serve it hot. It is a dish best served hot. Um, unlike tuna casserole, it will always be tuna casserole. Because hot tuna sounds gross. Because, you see, the right way to eat tuna is cold. In the gelatin mold. <laughs> This is the way. <laughs> don't eat fish, especially jelly deals. You don't eat fish. Um, if if someone were to prepare jelly deals for me, I a hundred percent would try it. I am not a picky eater. If if someone were to send me food, I would probably eat it. Mostly no questions asked. If someone actually were to like mail me food, I would definitely ask questions. Like unless it's like a packaged food or from a company. I I I think I wouldn't ask questions. Yeah. Did I say that right? Probably. You can figure it out. Um yeah. So <laughs> Jesus fuck <Foxy. laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> I think... I think these are all great takes, and I think... Maybe... Maybe you you gotta get out more. You gotta... You gotta explore the world. You know, try new things. Uh, eat some jellied eels. I think... I think it'll all be fine. Like... You don't know. Maybe... Maybe jellied eels is your favorite food right like you just don't know it yet it's like it's like saying that you hate chocolate but you've never had a candy bar in your entire life like you don't know 
maybe you'll love it. Uh, you won't, I'm sure. Cause if, if, I feel like if you don't like fish, you definitely wouldn't like jelly beans. This is a podcast now. Well, this is a live stream, so I guess... Kind of, yes. <laughs> um, I'm okay with that. Uh, honestly. I mean... If it keeps you entertained, then I'm doing my job. I feel like that's a fair assumption. Or a fair, a fair takeaway, I should say. So, so when are you, when are you gonna try some jelly deals? I mean, they don't seem that hard to make, right? You just, uh, there, there's no cutting involved. I think you just take the entire eel and throw it in a pot of water. <laughs> You're having a fucking ball. That's wonderful. Uh, this is insane. This is an insane game for insane people. I just need to upgrade my, uh, my cooking level just a bit here. I'm almost at level 9. I don't know what the bounty board is yet. Maybe it's, uh, something really cool. Like, I can make, uh, cool stuff. Like, um, maybe there's other ways to prepare eel. Maybe... Poached, fried, well done, sunny side eel. I don't know. Ooh. Great eel. Eel be back. <laughs> I don't know where those are found. Okay, so the anime food wars. There's a cook-off with eel. Oh, I've only seen, I think I've only seen one episode, or maybe two episodes of Food Wars. It got overtly sexual, and I got uncomfortable. Like, like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm a sexual being, right? But, like, there's something about, like, over-sexualizing food in an anime that really just gave me the ick. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was like my kind of moist, you know? Don't, don't sexualize my food, please. Don't sexualize most of my food. Like, uh, strawberries and cream, like that's, that's inherently a sexy food, right? Like there are... There are foods out there that are inherently sexy. Spaghetti. That's up there. That's definitely up there. Pineapple. It's on the fence. You know. Could be worse. Could be better. Jelly deal. Who's to say, really? Uh, I think, uh, I think you could do some uh, pretty wild things with jelly deal. <laughs> Chocolate covered strawberries. Definitely on the on the on the naughty list for that one. You watched all of uh Cook Off? Or uh, all of Anime Food Wars or whatever this called? Wild. That's a wild series you get behind. I watched like I don't know, what's the other weirdest anime I've seen? Oh, I've seen a lot of weird anime. Um Oh, what was I watching just now? Um, Mashal? Mash L E? Mash E L? Mashal? If I keep on saying that word over and over again, does that mean anything to you? Um, but it's pretty much like this kid lives in a world of like uh, magic and enchantment and stuff, right? Like, like some Harry Potter shit. Um, I'm glitching out. You say I'm glitching- oh. Oh, I saw that. I was glitching out. Is my internet bad? 
I don't know what to do about that. I don't know if there's anything to do about that. Internet says it's good. I think... I think the stream pretty much caught up to me though. It was acting all weird. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do about that. Maybe I need to complain to my internet provider again and see if they can fix it. It's unfortunate, really. Hmm. Anyway. I'm assuming it'll get better soon, so I'll just keep on talking like a madman. Um, yeah, I was watching a Mashell, I think it's called, where it's like it's basically a uh, Hogwarts, but um, the main character has no magical ability whatsoever. So he's like, I'm just gonna use violence, like physical violence, and it's it's lovely. It's good anime. Like everyone's like super tough and be like, oh, you, you're clearly a super, super strong magic man. Zeep. Oh. Is this stream unwatchable now? Is that what you're trying to tell me? I'm watching my own stream right now. It is so far behind. It is like a solid... Probably like a solid two minutes behind right now. Hmm. I don't know what to do about that. I'm running a speed test right now. 200 megabytes per second download. Almost 5 megabytes per second upload. I'm not sure what to do about that knowledge. I'm not sure if there's anything to do about that. Oh, look at that. I've caught great eels and lesser eels. Oh, well, that's good to know. Once you level up your fishing, you just... I guess it's just a chance to catch the better eel. Hmm. Sassy pose. Yeah. I, I moved my camera down more so you can see more of my body, so it's like... <laughs> this is kind of like my default pose when I'm streaming for some reason. Like, instead of being, like, all hunched over like this in my happy place. Like, I have, like, one hand, like, on my on my side. I don't know why. I tend to flamingo as well. If I'm standing still in one place for too long, I, I usually, like, rest one of my legs on the other leg for some reason. Like, while standing. Insane stuff. I am I'm a wild child. Yeah, but fishing is going pretty well still. I think my stream is caught back up. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. I didn't seem to do anything. It just kind of decided to cooperate again. 
so that's always fun. What were we talking about again? Uh, Mashal? Yeah, so it's like... It's, it's like, think Hogwarts. You're at solid. Solid. What was it? Like the stream is just completely solid? Cause it looks like it's good to me right now. It might be lagging behind maybe half a minute now for me. Um... Well, yeah, just so imagine, like, think, think Hogwarts, right? But, like, the one person that doesn't have magic ability whatsoever, he's like, I'm just gonna punch this person real hard. And then, like, every single wizard at the school is like, well, if you didn't have some sort of magic ability, we'd just kill you, so clearly you must uh, be a magic user. And, like, all their defenses are, like, magic-based. So it's like, oh, I have a magic shield up, and... Like, you would have to almost be god-level strength to penetrate my shield, just like... Unless they use physical attacks, and no one is strong in this world, so it's like, physical attacks are actually super fucking helpful. Yeah. Good show. Really good show. Kevin... Give me more gelatin. No, I can already tell the grind in this game is good. It it took it took a little bit to get used to, but I think I'm I'm right there. Yeah. It's a good grind. It feels good so far. Flamingo. <laughs> okay. Maybe you are a little bit behind. That's okay, though. Okay, I want... 12 of those, and I want... Do the better eels make for better food? I don't know. Do the better eels... Oh, interesting. I have great eels in my inventory. I can't make great eels until level 10. Oh. I see. Interesting. So you see what they do here? They fucked me. That's what happened. Because I don't have a choice of which eel to catch. So the fact that I didn't get the luster eel that I need for the recipe every single time, they fucked me. But hopefully I can upgrade my uh, cooking level enough to then use the Grey Eel and then continue this lovely grind. Which honestly I don't think should be too difficult right now. Can I do other stuff on... Yeah, I can. Omelette. That's the frying pan. So you're telling me where I can make that at. But you're not telling me... Where I can find the ingredients. I would change that if I could. Like, I don't really care about where to cook jellied eels right now. But if you could tell me where to f source the eel, I feel like that might actually be more beneficial. Okay. 
Yeah, it does so... So much less experience now that we're actually level 7. Just one more level though. And then we can actually use the bounty board. I'm excited to see what that does. I'm thinking... If I had to guess about the bounty board, it's probably... Maybe time-based rewards? Or no. Maybe not time-based. You could probably get paid bonus amounts for items right now, right? Like maybe vegetable stew is like the go-to. It's like you get paid double if you do it through the bounty board. But then in an hour or so, it's like omelets or something. I could see that being a thing. Yeah. Oh, that deposit. I need to open that. I do have bread. I have one bread. I should probably use that, huh? Let's get 12 of those. Let's get all of those. Makes more jellied eels. Why are we in the eel jelly business? Yes, see. People like what they like. You know, it's really good money and it's good experience. I think, I think pretty soon here, the whole economy actually, I think will probably run off of jelly deals. Um, it's simple economics really. Um, people, people go crazy for the stuff. You should try it sometime. It's, it's great money. Um, and it, it has a flavor to match. <laughs> This is an insane thing to be making over and over again. I feel like I feel like if a restaurant served jelly eels, I feel like the restaurant would go out of business in a week out of principle. But I mean, this is a fantasy world. And we're uh we have a much braver clientele, you know. I, I I pretty much just this is the easiest thing to cook right now. Without wasting a bunch of time. I suppose bacon is probably easiest to make. But it probably I think it, I think bacon sandwich gives less experience though. I don't really know. I have to look into that. Like a dive bar. Hey, a dive bar because eels, water. Yeah. Yeah. Food orders received from across Hopeport. Hopeport are posted here. Wait, would I have to like deliver that to someone? Because I don't want to like go do that. Because that sounds like a lot less like cooking and more like a fetch quest. Oh, they are time based. Eight times basic omelet to Lance Corporal Hodges at Barracks. Wild. This is a wild thing to look at. Wait, wait, wait. Because you get experience for making it, but this gives you 390 extra experience. And two silver. How good is that? I don't know what these sell for. Oh, I'm not going to take. No. No way. I feel like... I don't know if this is worth my time. Because, okay, okay, we have to look at this in like a very grindy mindset, right? So, we have to make eight omelets, right? And then go to the barracks, which the barracks are actually pretty close. They're like right next to us, right? But in the time from running from here all the way to the barracks and then back, 
I think we might be able to get more experience than just making this. I just think Zeep, the character, deserves a life of adventure. We're too good for jelly deals. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, you know? Like, do you, do you think, do you think, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer started his, uh, culinary escapades with people? I think not. I think, I think he started from a simple place of simple taste. Um, and then, you know, worked his way up. I think, I think we should aspire to, to not put that behind us. You know, the simple things. Um, and they see them more as uh, stepping stones to a bigger adventure, right? I mean, there seems to be no level cap here. We can get up to 800 cooking. Um, we won't. We, we are doing this for money and experience. You're right. We, we should, we should, we should do better than jelly yield. Jellied eels. You're you're absolutely right. Oh, but we're so close to level ten, and then we can make something new. We can make better jellied eels. Where where are you, head chef? Right there. Okay, you wanna. You want to adventure, you say? Adventure? Um. Okay, we have we have to talk to a man about getting a uh, enchantment placed on us, so some dude can track us when we sleep. <laughs> Why must we make such large fucking leaps of cannibalism? What are you talking about? What do you mean? <laughs> Saltar Balzac <laughs> at your service. Um uh I need, uh, need you to cast a tracking spell for Lord Banoff. Yeah, sure, bring the criminal and we can proceed. Actually, I need you to cast it on me. Um I'm retrieving some money for Lord Banoff and he doesn't want me to run off with it. Well this is a little Unconventional. Okay. We'll meet you at Banoff Manor. Oh. You can't just cast the spell on me here? Okay, it's like a whole thing now. Oh, where did he go? He just disappeared. Um No, no, we're we're over here, weren't we? We have to go to the manor. Where is the manor? Hooked hand. It's down here somewhere, right? Oh, I'm terribly lost, aren't I? Hooked hand, central waterfront. Overgrowth pond. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> Uh, the manor. This seems like it. Yeah. Where am I? Up here. Just gotta go down to and over to the right. Neat. Would be nice if I could just follow that dude all the way to the manor. So I didn't have to like backtrack like that. Lord. All right away. Ooh, cutscene. Look at this. Rakta. Hemta. Cool. Well, this is intriguing. I can tell precisely where you are now, even when I close my eyes. That's terrifying. Santa Claus can do that too. That's rather unnerving. Sure is. Okay, now I trust you with my clue. 
any clue where this not at all hence i'm letting you figure it out awesome i'm gonna steal all your money first jerk and take your paper too never mind i already have your paper penthouse chambers what on the back you find an inscription which says plot the symbols x marks the spot okay what am i looking at here plot the symbols On the back you find an inscription which says opposite the geometric shapes. So do I need to use the sense in like every single like area of the town to find said symbols? I think that's what that means. Cause I think that means I have to go throughout the world. Find the symbols and then plot them. Good on them for not making a painfully simple quest. But I actually have to like use brain power and figure out the quest. Oh I didn't I didn't do the sense here, did I? Okay. Why is the bush highlight? Now I can hide behind it, but why? Okay, there's a symbol over here somewhere, isn't there? No. I really am Robin Hood. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah, so the highlights. Okay. You mark the location of Haley's clue on the map. Thank God I can actually open up the map and this at the same time. Fallen Monument. The Hooked Hand. Point of reference. Hooked Hand is right here. So it's... This is the dock. It's right here. I'm literally on top of it. It says it's like right here. I feel like it's right here. What am I missing here? This is a high level area that I should not be in. Yeah, I'm in danger. Is it this building? This front? This isn't a building. Can I go inside? I don't think I can. Shady civilian. It's amazing how much useful stuff people would just throw away. I don't... I don't get the... You do not find the falcon image on the map. Okay. 
news item, swirly do, nothing happens. I need a clue from James Newtap. Oh, and this other dude wants a soup. Gotcha. Right, I'm just jumping ahead here. I need to be at least level 61 to make the soup. I need to decipher the falcon clue. Okay. What if I... No, I can't do that. Hmm, can I do something weird? No. I'm not quite sure. I think I hit a wall with this one. I need guard level 15. So I could grind combat for a while. What's this? Coheen asked me to find some missing uh, Carthian plumbate. I have two leads. Talk to Captain Shirker on the Vincible. Talk to the clientele of the Hooked Hand. Well, since we're closer to the port, um, I suppose we can we can do this. We can go talk to the uh, the ship dude, the captain. Is it this way? Little Lucy. Not that one. Salty Swine. That's also not the Vincible. I guess I'll uh, talk to the clientele down here then. Spells. Sense. Got yeah, a couple of people. We don't want to be talked to. Likes of you. Likes of who? Guards, of course. The guard armor you have equipped says so. A guard and proud of it. Okay. Interesting. So there's disguises. Guard, chain of legs. Guard. These are both guard based. Hello, I'm an average Joe. Why do you want to help him? You know him. I'm not going to help, I'm just being polite. It's not polite to offer help you don't intend to give. Um. We should find the seller. His eye of fruit isn't really a specialty of this tavern. Plumbate aren't. They do, however, sell some very fine drinks and some delicious bar snacks. I heartily recommend the sausage rolls. What's with the full sales pitch, Wellington? Groot paid me to advertise this bar. Haven't done much advertising, though, as that involves leaving the bar. I only bother when the general public wanders inside. I was merely complaining about how hard it is to buy combat equipment these days. I think Lord Branoff is trying to keep us in line by strict by uh, restricting the weapon supply. Ooh. Excuse me, I couldn't help but overhear that you're looking for Carthian Plumbate. I know someone who could help. That sounds good. I should warn you, however, this will be a very confidential argument with an extremely dangerous man. If you don't respect that, then things will end badly for you. Uh, no one knows his real name. Some say he doesn't exist. Um, he's known as the Illusion. 
hard to buy things off someone who might not exist. Uncertain existence is a poor business model. He has ways of doing business while preserving his anonymity. Have you heard of the frequent fresh fish doll? Oh. Haven't you heard of pikes? Oh. Or swordfish? Oh. <laughs> Shut up, you two clowns. What about hatchfish or spearfish? Ooh, they're onto something here. Never mind that. The stall is used as a method of secret communication. This week, you can send a message to the illusion inside a fatigued flounder and receive his reply in a fish of your choice. What's a fatigued flounder? It's an ugly fish, foul tasted too. No one normally buys them, so it sits on the stall until one of the illusion's operatives collects it. You should be able to catch one at the overgrown pond. Uh, okay. How do you know this? I have my own lines of communication with the illusionist. Like what? You bake him messages and cakes? No. And that's quite enough of this line of conversation. Okay. Alright, so... Are we stuck? I need a petite flounder. Uh, flowery flounder. It can't be this far down. There's no way. I totally passed it, right? Mottled flounder. Olive flounder. Stone flounder. Lemon. Oh, that's buffer fish. Um, arrow tooth flounder. Flowery flounder. Jelly flounder. Pe peacock flounder. There's a lot of flounders, huh? Oh, I get an expert fishing cape at level 200, though. Starry flounder. I'm worried that I haven't found it yet. Black flounder? Who's on the list? Is this a quest only item? The tide flounder. Oh gosh, dude. Hmm. Oh, you saw the new Venom. How was that? How was that? Because... I feel like Marvel is a very hit or miss lately. And I want only good things, of course. I feel like I feel like the new Venom movie is what it is. You know, it's like probably a lot of action a lot of the time. Um, I have high hopes. I saw the uh, Deadpool and Wolverine movie recently. That was pretty good. I liked it a lot. Um, you have anything for catching fatigue flounders? No, mate, I'm sure there's a shop in 
Hope port selling fishing equipment though. Where do I go again? Uh, but some of the important people of Hopeport, such as things, just lying around their desk. I'm not sure where to find this flaw, this, uh, this fish. No idea in the least, but... Okay, so you find a flounder right there. Was it overgrown pound pond? I think he said overgrown pond. But there are no flounder spots right there. Maybe it's a quest only item. But if that was the case, then I would imagine that he would mention the location more than once. I'll go to the overgrowth pond just in case, though. Because I'd rather know for sure. Oh, there, there you are. There's the flounder right there. 25. Oh, is this level 25 to fish? No fucking way, dude. I'm going up to it, though. The... No, okay. At least level 25. That's insane requirement. For like such an entry level quest. I mean, maybe that's just the thing, right? Because... What are you? Hair beast. Right, yeah. Why did I... Why do I even question that? You're a hair beast. Um, I think that's everything here. Not seeing any other question marks. You're only defense level 10, though. Carnivorous plant, of course. Potato. Bell plant. Hmm. Interesting. Momentum pieces bank. Handy for storing pieces of momentum that you don't need yet. Mon monument. Wow. Monument. I liked it, but I had, like, large contractions to the other two. Contradictions! Wow, that made the sentence very wildly different. Um, contradictions. That's fair. Um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about, like, the Venom series. Like, they seem fine. Like, I have nothing really against it. It's okay. It's fun to watch. Um, yeah. This is a quest. This isn't just any ruin. It's a great Kren monument, which I am hoping to restore to its former glory. Unfortunately, the pieces of the monument seem to be spread far and wide. But you could search around the near, uh, search around near, around nearby for pieces of the monument and bring them back here, they would really help. I'll pay well for each suitable piece you find. Oh, interesting. Stage one, huge piece. How many stages? 15 stages? And stage one is 48 pieces, that's insane. Uh, tell me about the monument. This monument was built by the Kren, an ancient civilization that once ruled over this land. 
It once stood over 100 feet high, and legend says it amplified the magic. It was destroyed around 350 years ago during the Rayland Revolution. Neat, the more you know. Monument pieces, though. So, wait. Hogberries. Where are you, potato? I assume I get monument pieces by killing things. I may as well forge some brown kelp. Okay, so I forge it. Can I double forge? No, I can't. Bummer. Ooh, where are you, jellyfish? Neat, neat. Ooh, and it's raining here. Oh, you also saw Deadpool? Yeah, I really like the Deadpool ones. Um, I haven't yet been disappointed by Deadpool. Rockpool. Interesting. Like... Like, Deadpool is very much what it is, you know, it's like, you can't take it too seriously, it's mindless violence with, like, really good tongue-in-cheek one-liners. But, like, if you're expecting anything other than that, then, you know, you just shouldn't go to a Deadpool movie. Um, no, like, I really enjoyed that series. But then again, I have terrible taste in movies like I liked I liked uh, the uh, multiverse of madness I enjoyed that I don't know like could it have been a better movie sure but I enjoy the universe enough to like not really care about that um, maybe because I'm just a mindless shell of the conglomerate and I'd probably enjoy any anything that they pump out, but like, that's me, you know? I feel like I'm the minority there. Or maybe I'm the majority because the movies do so well. Wait, can I force these to respawn if I just go over here? And then go back? No, they're still on a timer. Bummer. Because I could go around here, collect a bunch of brown kelp, and then work on my potion craft. Because for every quest that I try to do, I feel like I keep on hitting a brick wall of like, oh well, you gotta be level 100 to do that, buddy. Creamy wall plant. It thinks the walls are the ground. Right. There's a lot in this game. I mean, it's... It's very grindy. But... I think... I think they added enough into the game to make the grind doable, if that makes any sense. Because, like, it's one thing if, like, it was a really grindy game, but, like, you have to, like, catch the same fish, like, a million times. It's like, no, there's other fish. I mean, you have to catch a fish a million times, but, like, there's other fish, you know? Oh, grumpy pirate. I don't know if I want to go in there too, too far. I feel like that's how I get killed by a level 9, 49 pirate. Oh, look at them catching level 14 fish. That's pretty neat. Couldn't be me. Level 15 ray. 50. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna make a few potions. Because I can. Because we are in a game of grind right now. It's like everything that I do is like. It's a prerequisite of grind. And then I mean, that, that that's that's part of the main quest too, right? It's like you have to have overall level 50 or uh, 60 for all combined uh, skills, right? There's like 60 or something insane. Main story. Yeah, level 60. I feel like that's an insane requirement for like the very first quest that you unlock. The map looked like a sword. The land outcropping. No? Yeah. Starfish point. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna make a few potions. And then, I guess just sell them, right? But I guess we want, we want to get this level up too. I'm not sure where to find Periwinkle yet. But we do know where to find uh, the wall plant. But I'm not really sure what to do with the wall plant yet. Probably a different potion. But for sure, brown kelp is used for health potions. And we know where to make those. In fact, we can just teleport back. Save some walking. We do need to just upgrade our combat level as well, though. Combat's kind of boring, though. Am I insane for thinking that? Okay, we got 15 of those. That's not too bad. Oh. Simply chopping the herbs. Gives us XP. Interesting. Why is that the case? Because cooking bacon doesn't seem to give you XP. Making the first step for boiling the eel and the um, gelatin, that doesn't give you XP. So do I also get XP for finishing the dish as well? I think potion making might give you double. That'd be cool. Ugh, I don't know. I miss our jelly deals. It's a better time, honestly. More satisfying to say, too, than health potion. Gross. Okay, now that we chop these. Twenty percent potion healing. Hmm. And there's a potions bank here too. Interesting. There's a reagents bank and there's a potions bank. Interesting. I I guess I like that. I mean, it cuts down on having like an actual like centralized banking system. This way there is a bank in this spot. I kind of like that. Wait, I'm only making a 10% healing potion. Is brown kelp only for 10 percenters? Is that what I'm getting out of that? 
I guess I haven't read the the potion book, have I? There might be a better ingredient for 20% potion. At least I get double XP though. I do enjoy that. Where did that dude go? You just have a teleport potion? Interesting. Huh. Now we're just waiting. Yep. I mean, it's not too, I, I like the grind. I'm, I'm not opposed to this. A little quiet, but you know, it's, it is what it is. It's aesthetic. It doesn't need to be a high octane gaming all the time. It's like a semi cozy game. 5% potion, XP, hope port. Now you say hope port, as in when I go to another area, this, that won't work. Boost your active XP gain in Hope Port by 5%. Last 2 minutes per dose. Or Hope Port. It is weird how they do the, like the zones. Yeah, because that really feels like they're just adding grind for the sake of grind. Healing Potion. Oh, level 0, 10%. Brown Kelp. Level 2, 20%. Oh. Brown Kelp and Wall Plant. Huh. I see. Green Kelp and Wall Plant. Oh, you're getting too complex here. Periwinkle. I still don't know where to find Periwinkle. all the way up to 10% boost. Interesting. This is a... This is a different zone. Absolutely wild. Boost level? Like temporarily, right? What does this do? I don't know if I can learn more about that. XP mine. There's mining in the game. I haven't even found mining yet. I feel like that sold for nothing. I feel like the amount of work that I did was for nothing. Fear? Are you selling fear? What does that mean? What does that mean? Strength? Cryonate? Wait. I'm not even in that area. Right, is that a zonal? Strength? Tempest Day? I don't know what that means. I could buy XP potions from you. 5% and 6% are about the same, but wildly different price. Let's buy a couple XP potions, yeah. No, this is a good idea. And... I'll buy a strength potion. 
I'll buy two of them. Yeah. And since we're buying strength potions and XP potions, why don't we do the obnoxious grindy thing of combat? Wait, there's a shop nearby that I want to go to first. This one, garden tools. Because I can get the wall flower if I want. Um, but I cannot if I don't have foraging equipment already purchased. Awesome. I love that. I love that you don't have to rebuy it every single time. Um, inventory. I want to drink the strength potion. Open the weapons panel by clicking here. You can equip up to two different potions and can equip up to 20 doses of each when in combat. Only potions you equip beforehand will be available for use once combat starts. You can no longer change which potions you have equipped. Okay. Let's drink the XP potion. And then, cool. Let's kill this bird. The two-hander sword. Let's drink this. Plus strength. Oh, you're still attacking, right? Am I hitting it harder? I can't really tell. I feel like it's about the exact same damage as it had. That's more XP though. I can tell that's more XP. I can drink another strength potion, which makes me feel like it didn't really do much. Or maybe it's a strength potion for that one combat engagement? I guess that would make sense. I wish the map stayed up even after you collect. It's actually super obnoxious. Because like I'm looking at something, like I want this to just stay. I'm still not sure what the color coordination means. Murdering a murder. <laughs> that is true. That is true. What's a group of kangaroos called? That was something weird. Like a frat? A frat of kangaroos? Now I'm curious. Oh, give me a bird. Oh. Need to switch with my, what weapon I'm choosing. Uh, name for a group of kangaroos. A court. A herd. A mob. A troop. A mob of kangaroos. For some reason, that sounds very fitting. Gar's Cannabo. What is this? <laughs> That's just a spiked bat, my dude. That is just a spiky bat. You cannot tell me otherwise. I guess it's better. Kind of. Enough. It's, it's better enough. Let's see how this one hand weapon goes. It does spinny damage. Oh, 
I don't know if that's better or worse. I really cannot tell. It's not better enough for me to notice the difference. I should say that. Leather boots. Untuned. This area indicates the minimum level needed to equip this armor and the factor needed to equip this armor. This displays how well the armor protects against. Am I in combat? I assume not. This displays how well the armor protects against each of the six kinds of damage. The color slash icon indicates the kind of damage protected against, and the number indicates the amount of protection against that kind of damage. Okay. Sure. Wait, can I put on my boots? Oh. Almost just stopped my recording. <laughs> um, I want to equip. You must tune this armor at an obelisk before it can be equipped. Complete the quest the obelisk to learn more. Uh, uh, Commander Hecket at the walls of the town gates. It's like right here. Who? Commander Hecket. Talk. There we go. Oh, look at me. I did go into a new area to talk to someone. There's just, there's just goblin soldiers walking on the gate. The sword crate. Okay. Good day, recruit. Ah, there are goblins everywhere. It's not a good day. Are you trying to be a smart... Are you trying to be a smart with me? Also, you'll address me as sir, I'll be mentioning this in your training officer. Oh, good day, sir. Um, you need help up here, sir. Good, I see a keen recruit. Yeah, I could use some help. Constant goblin incursions are wearing down our men and equipment. I'll give you a new store to help fight. We've just received a new shipment. The key arrived separately for security reasons. I've got a man fetching it now. Commander, here's the key. Oh, you're about to get dead. Doink. Wonderful. Quick, catch the goblin. Okay. No, I didn't watch where he went. Do you go this way? Do you go down? Uh, Goblin Thief. This is going well. Yeah, it's going as well as you could hope for. Okay. <laughs> cool. Got the key at least. And it's over then. Do I use item key? That's insane. That's insane. We've had quests where it's just like, oh, here's the thing. That feels crazy to me. Wait, these swords have been haven't been tuned yet. What does that mean? Have you seen the big obelisk near the Ranov Boulevard yet? I did happen across that yet. earlier, yes. Much of the armor and weaponry in the world of Dorothea has been tuned at magic obelisk to be powerful within the vicinity of those obelisks. Thus, any armor or weapons which hasn't been tuned to the local obelisk is comparatively very weak.
You know how I mentioned that if you go to another region, it seems like your your skill level gets a reset based on that region? That's what he's telling us here. That your armor and weapon are also null and void if they're not attuned to that region. So when you go to a new region, you are starting the game over in a new area. I... I don't know if I like that. Does money... Does money transfer? Like, can I become a billionaire in this region and then transfer over my wealth to the next region? Because that seems like a crazy thing to add to the game, right? Like... The reason why I grind in video games is to achieve something, right? Like I, I grind like a like a craft or a skill so I could be like number one in that craft or skill, you know, like reach the maximum level. Oh, there is no maximum level. Okay. Well, if I grind to like level 500 fishing, I expect to to be level 500 fisher. And, like, no matter where I go on the map. It might be a cool mechanic. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like it or not. Yeah, a goal is nice to have, right? Like, like that was my big thing with, like, RuneScape. Is, like, I never made it to, like, level 99 anything. I think the closest I got was like level 90 fire making. Doesn't matter. But like, if I went to Varrock, I still had level 90 fire making. If I went to Falador or Lumbridge or like, or, or Camelot, you know, it's like level 90 across the board. You are level 90, but like, it feels like, oh, you walked outside of the gates of our protected city. You have amnesia. You have no idea how to fish now. Like that seems gross. These swords need to be tuned, be strong, and hope for. Hope for. Take them to the obelisk. Okay. Like. I feel like this game has great potential. Which is probably why I'm most upset about it, you know? Like, it's a little clunky. You know, like, it has, like, its weird moments. But... I don't know. Like, I... I have so much hope for this game. It's insane. Um... Oh, did I take that thing? I tried to take that thing. I don't know if I got the thing. I did. It's, uh... Shitty sword. Eh, it's better than the other one, though. That's fine. Where am I going? Going... Where am I going? It's an obelisk. It is... Right there. Obelisk. Big ol' letters. I wonder what it takes to reach the next area. Because I would imagine that it's a decent amount of grind, right? Like, like your beginning quests are super grindy. Like, right off the bat. Um, this thing's bust. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard when it's broken. Cool. If I help fix it. I could do with some help, thanks. This obelisk is highly damaged during the goblin attack. Notice the down spike is missing there? The goblin's probably knocked it off, but who knows where it is now. Oh, you're missing a, a spiky boy. Clearly. 
We're by a fast flowing river, so we have a good guess where it went. Somewhere downstream? I'll see what I can do. Okay. Sense. Nothing. Okay. Nothing but a uh, delicious, delicious eel. Sense. Yeah, nothing there. Am I going the right way? Hopefully it's not right there. Because I'm not going that way. Wait, can I... Is there a path over here? There is but I can't seem to access it. Interesting. I guess I'll uh run past the bandits. Hopefully not get attacked. Oh cool. Giant bugs. Oh, is it this giant obelisk piece? Cool. I can go this way. This way is uh, a little bit faster, a little bit safer. On the missing spike. Great. Try fixing it back on. Use item. Opalisk spike. Doesn't seem to fit. Let me have a go. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't fit. I think that these plums of ice magic might be holding the spikes on. I don't know how to do ice magic. I'm a bit stumped at the moment, but Captain Degrini uh, did give me this uh, tablet which shows how to fix it. Take a look. I can't make heads or tails of it. Yeah, some sigils you don't understand on it. What does Marissa expect me to do with this? Hmm. Gotcha, gotcha. What do you make of the tablet? It makes no sense to me. I don't recognize these symbols on it at all. Maybe Nabeth will know. That's a good idea. Nabeth is an old philosopher. She's very much into ancient uh, cultures and the like. She needs, lives near the town gates. Take it to her and see if she can help. Okay, so we're we're backtracking again. You know, backtracking can be fun. I mean, don't you love to backtrack? It, it pads out your playtime a little bit. You could have more fun. Yeah. That's how that works. Where does she live? By the town gates? What does that mean? Are you in this house that I don't remember being able to go into earlier? I think so. Hello, I assume you're a figment of my imagination. Can I help you? Um. Tablet. Ooh, this is interesting. 
This looks to be ancient Kren. In fact, I have some stone which, with these exact symbols. I rescued them one time when Captain DeGrini was having a clear out. Here you go. Maybe you'll be of some use to fixing the, the obelisk. What did you just give me? Interesting. I'm gonna backtrack. Yeah, I mean, the whole backtracking thing, I don't have a huge issue with. Um. happens because runescape did that a lot you know um i like puzzles more than backtracking <laughs> what am i drinking tonight uh same thing as last night um three lining kugels original just enough really big cup nearly done with it too Unfortunately, I should really invest in a um, a mini fridge in this room, to be honest. Because I, I, I usually just fill this up because I don't like walking back to the kitchen after I have one beer and then back again. Like, it's, it's nice to just, like, have it on hand. But the issue with that is, is this is, this is a big cup. And I keep my room fairly cold. But, like, it still goes kind of warm after a while. Uh, the issue is I am super broke, so I can't, I can't afford a, uh, $20, uh, mini fridge. Not yet, not yet. Big plans, you know? Think big. <laughs> uh, have you figured out anything about that tablet? I have. Nabeth gave me these tiles which match the symbols on the tablet. I haven't figured out what they, what to do with them. Oh, I see. You want me to do something with them. Um, whole key arrow problematic symbol. North. Oh. Oh. I see. North is down right now. Okay, it's so a whole key arrow problematic symbol. Oh. I see, I see. <laughs> you're giddy as fuck. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Um. I don't know. Like, I feel like I'm more myself. Like, Okay, okay. That sounds... Ooh, that sounds problematic. I feel like when I got a little bit of a buzz going on, uh, it is easier for me to be me behind the camera. That sounds like I have a problem saying that out loud, come to think of it. Uh, ooh. Cutscene. Who the fuck are you? Oh, an actual... Cryo Knight. So, I have been summoned somewhere. It doesn't normally happen. It must be a dire emergency for me to be called forth thusly. Okay. Why have I been summoned? What dire emergency have I been brought forth to deal with? Obelisk broke. <laughs> Our obelisk is broken. Wait, I've been summoned for mere tech support? Uh, I guess. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? I think the problem might be broken spike. It won't join back on. Ah, I see what's happening. The cryojet isn't working. That's a simple fix. Ah. What the? Why isn't my magic working? 
Have you tried turning it off and on again? Get fucked. What? Don't be silly. My magic doesn't have an off switch. Maybe our magic suppressor is blocking you? A magic suppressor? Neat. I've not seen one of them in a while. That would explain it, certainly. I'll need to be unlocked if I'm to fix your obelisk. I'll go and talk to Anjay. Ah, oh, lovely. I love this. I love this game. Oh, so good. I'm not judging you. I may or may not be indulging. Hey, to each their own. Like, I have nothing against that. I am pretty liberal. Um... I'm okay with any self indulgement really. As long as it's not hurting others. Um, obelisk. Blocked by NJ Sanderman in the training. It is in the training area. Yeah, I don't really, I don't do weed anymore. Just because, like, I don't like the way it makes me feel. Um... I feel like with alcohol, I can be I can be a little inebriated, but like still myself. Uh, with weed, I just I'm so dumb. Like I I don't have enough bandwidth to to dumb myself down any more than I am right now and be a functioning member of society. <laughs> but that's me. Some people are like very good at like smoking a little bit and like acting in public me i start drooling i start like staring at you like full eye contact for like half an hour and it's just super creepy and it's obnoxious um or maybe maybe that's just all in my head i don't know that's what it feels like um it sounds that like you wish to talk to me um Let's see. Cryonite stuff. Yeah. A cryonite, really. No one has seen a cryonite in years. I didn't even know if they still existed. There's one trying to help us fix the Hope Port obelisk at the moment. Why do we keep on saying Hope Port? Why do we keep on doing that? We're in Hope Port. It's like... You know, it's like we don't say... A second plane has hit the American Twin Towers, or or the New York Twin Towers. Well, you just know. You just know. Um, okay. This I have to see. I'll see you there. Okay. You go through the breach, and then you vanish. Let's see. Yeah, it's right over here. At least, at least it's pretty quick, right? It's pretty close to each other. Oh, it's right here. Almost ran right past it. Wow, you're right, Zeep, an actual cryo knight. You're an actual magic uh, suppressor, sir. That's pretty unusual, too. This is all very nice. But we're going to get that fixed, uh, ugh, fixed obelisk, right? Uh, we don't know this person. They just appeared. Are we sure it's safe to just grant magic access? It'd be fine. Cryo Knights were famously honorable. Your aura is strong and somehow familiar. Familiar? Hard to explain. Anyway, you are free to do magic and hope for it. Wow, that sure did do the trick. Try the spike now. You got it. You forgot to add that you're not judging. I'm not judging. Did I say I was judging? No, I don't judge. No, like I... Super cool is like whatever, really. Um, just don't hurt people. That's like very basic standard thing like I feel like adults should be able to do anything like 
I guess I'm slightly libertarian in that regard, where it's like, yeah, if you want to do awful drugs, do awful drugs. But like, 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 if you want to have a crippling cocaine addic addiction, like, go for it. That's your body. You deserve it. If you have kids, I don't think that you should be able to have that crippling cocaine addiction. You know, it's like, if, if, if you want to do something stupid, you sh as an adult should be able to do something fucking stupid. Um, or, or, or fun or self-indulgent or experimental. Like, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. You should have anatomy to like control and govern yourself under your own judgment but like as soon as it crosses the border of like hey this might be dangerous for other people around me that's when i think things should maybe get a little bit more regulated but i don't know that's very tangential i feel um not judging did i mention that not judging um i want to cycle back to something we talked about a few streams ago what did we talk about a few streams ago? I barely remember what I had for breakfast. I don't eat breakfast, that's why. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go for it. What do you want to talk about? It's Vic Zeep. You said you had some swords to tune. Let's see this, the works. Yes. Let's tune the boots. Yes. Let's tune the sword. Wonderful. Let's tune the other sword. Oh, that seems to be working. I'll be off now. I guess the fun is over. Oh, we can still use magic whenever he uh, comes back. Interesting. <laughs> you keyed a car. I've in turn had my car keyed. <laughs> Ooh, wild. Uh, no, no, I doubt. I doubt it was you. I mean, it was all the way down in uh, Illinois. So there's, there's no way there's any correlation there, unless. No, I'm kidding. Um. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a, it's a shitty thing to have done. I'm sure. It costs a lot of money to fix. I know that firsthand. Um. Yeah, I know, but that was years ago. I guess I'm a bitch. <laughs> I. Yeah, what did you do? Like, that is a very aggressive thing for anyone to do to anyone. Wait, where's the dude? Oh, there, there's the dude. Commander. I've tuned those swords. It is more of a hassle than you might expect because the obelisk was broken. Brilliant. Well, tell you what. If you've gone to all that trouble, I'll let you keep one of the swords. You were going to let me keep one of the swords anyway, dude. Oh. So that's what completing a quest looks like. Oh my god, the XP. Oh. That was a lot of XP. Gee, Willikers, thank you, mister. Well done, you have fixed the Hope Port Obelisk and thus help keep Hope Port secure. Use the Hope Port Obelisk Uncommon Walls Guard Sword. 10,600 guard XP. Okay. Okay. Alright. I unlocked new baddies. Current active foes. You've unlocked level 14 guard. New foe unlocked. Beady eyed death crow. New foe unlocked. Rookie sparring guard. What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't understand what that means. There are crows here. Are these. That's a beady eyed crow. Oh. Oh, the enemies in this area got deadlier. Yeah, that's a glint eye death crow. That's what I was fighting level 2. That's level 16. Oh! 
I actually kind of really liked that. I didn't even realize. Okay, wait, back up. Back up. So, oh, that's all done. Cool. Um, interesting. So where am I now? The thief? Common thief. Rookie sparring. Okay, so the sparring guards even level up with you. So now I have goblin soldiers or whatever. Then hooligan goblin soldiers. Bossy goblin chef. Chief. Oh, interesting. Interesting. I kind of really like that. That way, you don't have to go search for new enemies if the enemies level up with you. Wall. Sparring guard. Hmm. That's a really interesting way to do things. Huh. Trooper Goblin Soldiers, yeah. So the enemies never go away, they just... Continuous. Oh shit, no. Nope. Uh, don't do combat. Where are you? Where are you? What level are you? I can't tell them now that after I clicked on you. Wait, use that sword. Delta boots. I'll take it. So he's doing a, a hooligan. He's doing hooligan. I'm doing looter. Interesting. That's a really cool way to do things. Uh, yeah, let's do this awesome sword. 100%. 100%. I have no clue. I worked at a Culver's. Oh, there you go. There you go. Work at a Culver's, uh, uh, get keyed, as they say, as a team. Completing main quest gives you tons of XP. What? No, crazy talk. Yeah, no, like, okay. So, like, I, I, a lot of, like, MMOs, like, completing quests gives you a lot of XP. Like, that's not insane. And I guess we are pretty early level to be like, yeah, that's a ton of XP, right? But that was also a pain in the ha in a handful of quests. Like that was that was an easy quest, right? It wasn't anything like super insane. But yeah, of course, of course, the main storyline is, or like the quests are what gives you the most XP. I guess that makes total sense. Uncommon Guard Sword. Is this the exact same sword that I'm using right now? No, it's not. Let's keep it on. I think the rest I can just crash, though. I'm fighting, right? That... No, I'm not fighting. Cool. I do want to level up one more time. I'm almost at level 15, that means I can almost use a bow. I think I should invest in a standing desk. Oh, uh, I do want... Is this better than... That is better. Don't do that. That looks like an actual weapon. Is this one faster than? 14. I think I might actually do more damage. Am I insane? 19. Oh, I think that actually might do a lot more damage. 
still not sure what this number means. This one does five, this one does ten. Is that the block? It might be block. Because because I'm I think I'm taking less damage, but I'm dealing less damage. Yeah, it does like almost double damage. Oh yeah, that's nice. Let's stick with that one then. Yeah, I still have no idea how this mechanic works. Forty, forty-eight. Yeah, no idea. I wish I knew. Ah, oh, that's so little. Oh, I got boots though. I hear these are made for walking. You know what? I might do that. Yeah, I'm hitting like 20, oh, 20 long. That's a lot better than the two-hander. I wish I could like dual wield swords though. I do that in a heartbeat. after this guy. If not one more. Ooh, potato. Bow training. That's what I'm here for. Actually, I can just teleport back. Boom. Hey Zeep, come over here. It's time for your bow training. I know. Well, I'm here. Okay, this is a standard issue bow for new recruits. Please look after it. Now listen carefully, as this is very important. Whenever you want to attack a hostile, start off about five paces away and initiate your attack with a ranged weapon such as a bow. Only switch to melee weapon as a sword once they get close, or you run out of ammo. Oh, there's ammo. This way you can often get a few shots in before your foe fights back, which can be a big difference in combat. Okay, got it. Attack from five paces away, choose bow for first attack, switch to melee once they get close. You'll get three or four ammo to use each fight, depending on the rarity of your ranged weapon. Don't worry about saving ammo, as you'll always get it back for your next fight. Oh. Okay. I think I'm okay with that. Where's my backpack? So what, I start off with uh, three shots? 15, that's a good bow. Or maybe it's a shit bow, I don't really know. Okay. I just keep my bow skills finely tuned if we are to defend. In case we won't distract you any further. I. I want to practice though. Cool. Out of ammo. You run out of ammo, choose a different attack from a. Cool. And then I just move forward. Okay. Yeah, run, dude. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, I got I got weapons and stuff I don't want. Sell items. Sell maybe sells for a decent amount. Neat. I can buy back 
everything that I've ever sold. That's pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. What is there to do? I need that flounder. I need fishing level 25. And I need 61 cooking for that. The main story. I already talked to Robin. Do my total level to 60. Is there a way to just like look at total level? I'm um, guard level 15. Level 40. Okay, so I just need 20 more levels. Which sounds like a lot, um, but it's not like a crazy amount. Um... I know a great way of making money. Um, I don't know if you've heard of this, but you can actually you can take eels and you you mix it with gelatin and you make a uh, jelly eels. Really good, delicious even, uh, succulent and moist even you may say. It's it's it's, it's a lot like uh, those like tuna uh, tuna jello molds really delicious i hear um but eel more slimy more good more more tasty yeah i'll look into it in the least bit i'm sure it's fine um well, yeah let's see here i keep on catching the gray eels though five percent potion Yeah, I mean, let's drink XP potions all day, dude. Absolutely all day. Why wouldn't you? If I can physically afford XP potions, I should probably be drinking them. You can feel alone in a crowd. Lonely puffer fish. Does that do more XP? I think it does. Can't really tell. I would kind of assume it's doing better. Alrighty. Good seeing you, Fiesta. I'll see you later. Um, not sure when I'm going to be live next. For sure. Probably Friday. We'll be live on Friday. I'm um, trying to be live every week on... What did I say? Did I say Tuesdays and Fridays? I've updated my stream schedule on Twitch. Um, that is the schedule I plan on staying on. So, yeah. Um, they'll be live Friday. Next. Have a good night, Fiesta. There's definitely eels. I, uh, I think they could only handle so much, uh, delicious jelly eels. Yeah, these are all gray eels. And I actually can't cook gray eel. I might actually have to go back to, um,. Oh, uh, what is it? To the, the bacon sandwich for a little while. Until I can actually cook the jelly eels. The gray ones, that is. That is pretty obnoxious, though. I don't know. I'm not really seeing a huge difference in 5% bonus XP, though. I mean, bonus is a bonus, right? But it's not, it's not double. Like, it could be, it could be crazy, I'm sure. I'm 
Okay, out of space. Yeah, I got all gray fish. All fish that I cannot use in cooking. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't I don't think I like that. No, I I do know how I feel. I don't like it. Like if there were if there was like a nice mixture of like oh, you caught mostly gray but also a bunch of other stuff. It's like, yeah, I'd understand that. I need to get rid of some stuff. Like, oh, I put the potato in there. I didn't even realize I did that. Cool. Maybe the 5% bonus XP matters a whole lot more when I'm doing like higher level cooking. Let's do 10. And then let's do 10 plus 1. I'm just guessing here i think that might be enough for the next level and then i should be able to make the gray eel but that's just kind of a guess Yeah, I'm not getting any XP here. I wonder if that's a bug. Because I am cooking the bacon, right? So that is one step. Which, like at first I understood that like, yeah, you only get XP when you finish the meal. But that wasn't the case with the potions. With the potions, it's the first step you get XP and the second step you also get XP. So I have no idea why that wouldn't be the case here. Like, putting bacon between two slices of bread doesn't feel like it should give you XP, sure. But that's finishing the project. I don't know. Am I crazy? I might be crazy. I might need to get make ten more sandwiches at this rate. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make level ten. It might be close if I can. It might be really close. That's the ingredients bank. Do I have a finished items bank? Uh, I don't think so. Let's, let's make 12 more. Like, I'm, I think we can probably just get away with, like, 5. But... I want 12. Oh, well... Did I say 11? I meant 11. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize how good I had it with potion making. Not getting XP for that first step is actually super bothersome. I can't I can't even explain why. Like, you don't realize that you're missing something until it's blatantly in your face, I suppose. I mean the level progression still feels nice though. It's definitely incremental. Which 
is going to suck if I ever can't afford higher level crafting ingredients. Um, conversely, that's also going to suck if I can only get higher level ingredients. Like right now we're eel blocked, right? Like I cannot fish eel that I can cook right now. Or I guess now I can. Um, so I'm level 10. Boom, there we go. I can now make gray jelly deals. Um, but because my fishing level increased before my cooking level, I couldn't capture the other version of eel. So that's super obnoxious. So you're essentially soft locking yourself to where you have to cook lesser foods that might be more difficult or costly to acquire in order to boost yourself to the next level to then make what's what's best for you it's it's a weird issue to have i feel like it's a really weird issue but i kind of like it 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 might be crazy i kind of like that 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 uh soft lock mechanic because i feel like it adds a new aspect it's it's not a bug it's a feature you know i i also might just be wrong um, that might be super obnoxious for like a bunch of people, but like, you know, I'm not a bunch of people, I'm me. Let's boil some eel. Ah, it's just as disgusting. But now it's, uh, more expensive. Yeah, imagine how much XP we could be racking up right now. Yeah, I wish... I wish there were more RuneScape clones, to be honest. Because I'm actually really enjoying this game. It... It's janky. It's new. It's early access. But... It, it has those level mechanics that make my brain go burr. It's, it's essentially, it feels like an incremental game, right? Like, there's no noticeable level cap. In fact, it like super, like it actually rewards you for going absolutely fucking insane with levels. Like level 500 were some of the prerequisites for crafting recipes. And this is early access. Like they haven't added all that they want to add yet. Which is absolutely fucking insane, first of all. Like, let's get that straight. That, that feels crazy. But, like, it has, like, that incremental aspect to it that my brain just really enjoys. Um, and the progression itself seems to be a good balance between grindiness and just, like, perpetual awfulness. If that makes any sense in the least bit, I, I feel like I'm all over the place right now. But like, the game feel good. And I can't exactly explain why game feel good. Because it's, it's not hitting the nostalgia mark that other games like this have hit for me. Like, Genfinod I played for quite a while. I grinded Genfinod so hard. But, um, but that game went under, uh, they, I think they, like, lost funding for it, and they had a bunch of stupid updates that, like, no one liked, like, like, Gen Final was an amazing game, and then all of their combat system turned into, like, card-based combat, which is fucking wild, to begin with, like, like, you had OSRS-based combat in Gen Final, right, where it's, like, two people get, get into combat, they each strike once, you have like three rounds of you hit, they hit, you hit, they hit, right? And then you can run away. And then you can heal. Like, it was very much classic RuneScape combat, which I liked. 
And then they they changed everything and it was like card based and it sucked. It really did. It lost so much hype from that one update. But it it was a shame because I really enjoyed Gen Fanati, even if they fucked up the mechanics for a little bit. Um, they could have gone back and they could have fixed it, but no, not the case. Um, I'm not sure how combat really works in this game, as far as like potential PvP. Um, I think combat's fine in this game. Like, I I don't love the fact that you'd have to like hard call or run away and that takes time but like it's a more unique mechanic to this game and that's okay appetizing bacon sandwich Ooh, i can now make better bacon sandwiches that sold for considerably more interesting has this changed I now see appetizing bacon sandwiches on the board. Interesting. Grey jellied eels to Melv. It doesn't seem worth it to me. It really doesn't seem worth it. Four hundred thirty XP. What do we what do we make per sandwich or per per eel? Was it like let's say eighty? It's like five. It's like five meals. It's not it's not terrible. It could be worse. It could be worse. I don't think it's for me though. I don't think uh, we need to do the bounty board. Gotta make more jelly deal. Oh. We only have nine left. I do like the bank system. Um, it's kind of obnoxious at first. I... There might be an actual bank. I don't know yet. I don't know. Um... But I would like an actual banking system, for sure. Like, I got items on me that I do not want on me. Like, I have like a 5% XP boost item. I don't know where to, what to do with that. No idea. No idea in the absolute least bit. Um, I'd rather not have it on me, if that could be an option. I don't know how banks work. I worry, though, that this game might be a permanent fixture in my rotation. Because <laughs> this is definitely a game that I could just completely zone out to for hours on end and not talk to the camera and not do anything productive in the least bit. Not be entertaining at all. And I would be okay with that. That's my biggest worry. If, if that's my biggest worry, I suppose it's not even that bad of a, bad of a thing, you know, right? Oh, money. Experience. Jelly deals. I can't imagine je jelly deals is any good, though. Like... I, I can't think of jellied eels without thinking first of Ludifesk. And, uh... I enjoy Ludifesk. But it's not... It's not necessarily a, a food that I openly seek out. Like, the way that you make Ludifesk is you... You dis it's it's fish, right? It's fish, and you dissolve it in brine. Uh, not not in brine. Brine would be nice. Lye. You dissolve the fish in lye. It's an insane thing by insane people. I mean, it's not bad. It's it's it's, it's the age-old question of what if fish was actually Jello? Yeah, it's a wild flavor. Um. 
That's not too bad. You should try it sometime. I don't know. Um, Swedish meatballs sound really good right now too, though. I think I'm out of lingamitter sauce. Mm, can't do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish up this final batch and probably uh probably call it a night really. I set forth today with a three beater goal and I've already accomplished that. I don't know about you, but like in my personal time I try not to be an overachiever. That took a lot of work, you know. We're not going to be able to make it to the next level, unfortunately. You know, even though there's only uh, five skills to be grinded right now, it feels good. I think it feels really good. Yeah, 37 silver. We haven't even hit a, a, our first gold yet. What's our total level? Our total level, 44. So, 16 more levels until we can actually do the, uh, the main story quest. That's not bad. Well, thank you all so much for watching um, and tolerating my insane hair. I just noticed that. Absolute wild hair. Um, yeah, like, comment, subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Twitch, hey, I have a YouTube account. Go follow that. If you're watching on YouTube, I have a Twitch account. Go check that out. Um, I also have a Patreon account. Give me money. <laughs> um, but really, uh, money helps me buy games. Not like this. Uh, this one is free. This is a free game. But, yeah, it helps support my content and stuff like that. And I really do appreciate everything that has already been donated. And yeah, I'm rambling. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.